Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. Well, I guess as ready as I'll, I'll ever be. Let's talk a little last time. Uh, so I, I commented a little bit in the last session towards the tail end. I was really not happy with the last couple of bosses. Like honestly, I was in complete stunned silence for at least five minutes. And it got to the point where I actually felt so not in the mood to continue. We completely skipped a week's worth for trials to put myself more in a neutral position. So I'm going to try really hard to see if I could get the AI to not die. I'm probably going to have to micromanage their strategy more than I would have liked to just set it and forget it. And we're going to hope that this is going to be what's needed in combination with the class change that they do not burn literally like 20 healing items every time we have a boss and then another boss because all my money is going to be funneled to that instead of weapons which feels really unfair to me that I'm potentially being forced to grind because they are literally too stupid to dodge so I also want to see one additional thing once we get into actual boss battles if I'm able to really, like, tweak it in such a way that'd be useful. So, for example, I believe there was a strategy to make uh, allies protect. I'm curious if that will make them stop walking into the giant red blinking light of death. And if, and if that works, then, you know, we'll continue. But I don't know. I feel very mixed. I started very positive, even though I think the game was a, really on the basic end for me. Like, a little too basic. But wow, AI completely swung my opinion in the span of two bosses that I was like, oh boy. I don't know if I really want to see what happens when I fight an actually hard boss. Question mark. But anyway. We're going to try to maintain positivity for a little bit, but I, I don't have very high hopes given the... Uh, things that happened last time. So let me go ahead and pause the music and we'll switch into the game. Give it a little second there. It should pop up hopefully. So yeah, so we're going to see what we could do as a player to curb the ridiculously bad AI. I'm going to let you know I had like PTSD at the end of the stream about Nino Kune 1. It really gave me Nino Kune 1 vibes. Maybe in the future we'll play that game so you can understand me going absolutely wild at the game's AI. It, it gave me f like flavors of Nino Kune 1. I'm not sure if Nino Kune 1 AI is worse than this, but I'm really struggling to think of anything quite as bad as this AI. Like, the only thing that would even be competitive with it at this point is, like, just outright broken AI that just stands there and doesn't do anything. But they already kind of do that, so... I don't know. I, I'm failing to think of comparisons. Only attack, no recovery or assistance. Balance attack I might swap into just for bosses. I kind of left them what I would have considered, like, a boss setup. Yeah, maybe I'll do Protection as Paramount on him. And then have her focus on on the attack. I'm going to give them a little more aggressive class strikes. And I guess if I'm casually in the overworld, I don't mind them potentially burning out more MP. I really don't want them to use items when we're in the overworld. I'll, I'll be pretty aggressive with her MP usage as well. If I'm not controlling this character, I probably want him to get rid of his class strikes. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Maybe I just switch her targets a little, so that way I have people that may or may not assist. I mean, I definitely feel like Kevin should assist whatever I'm fighting. 
Hawkeye benefits from having more than one person help. So maybe saying Menemy makes sense for his abilities, and it doesn't matter for her what she does. Maybe this will fix them a little bit, hopefully. Well, anyway, that, that's my only theory in hopefully making them not die instantly. So let's see if we can upgrade their weapons. Once we go to the other area, I probably need to go and... Get some more items. Oops, gotta go this way. So we'll see how it goes. Welcome. Give me one second, just want to check the setting for something. Always love it when full screen games love to uh, pull my focus away. Okay, there we go. Just want to make sure that was set correctly. Please, take your time. So I have a discount with these. Ooh, I can't mass purchase. Oh, actually, it goes pretty fast if I hold up. So let's hope that something like this is okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here are my recommendations. I'm just gonna purchase as much as I can here. The problem is more the cup of wishes. So I'm hoping these candies will last me for at least five boss fights, and the honey elixirs will make me a little less scared to use them. Come With the trade-off being that I now can't get a weapon upgrade, which really sucks, but I think I have to play really passive with them. I would have preferred to have kept our totals around like 20 or 30, but honestly, I don't see that happening. Candy's at least pretty strong, and maybe with my discount, it's not as horrible. Where's the thing that I'm looking for? Oh, there it is, little cactus. So... Yeah, potentially future free ins might make up for some of the money I'm about to lose compared to the other game, where I did not need to do this at all. And I see how many that I have. I have 16. Interesting. Alright, okay, well, let's hope that this is good enough. I can't purchase any weapons due to what I just did, so we'll just proceed with the plot. Welcome in, Parameter. So he told me no charge. I mean, the worst thing that happens if I had to do one or two more fights, it wouldn't have been too terrible. Run mana is a form of golden one, the mana, got, the mana got us used, and then it cut off. The downside of loading too quickly. Yeah, I'm not sure if Ghost Ship is before or after Frost Area. I guess we'll find out. I don't remember from the SNES. I know they were very close to each other. I guess it's building in the ominous potential future Ghost Ship by making us go through the fog earlier. Because I don't think that was a thing at all in the SNES. I don't think we ever came across the fog. Okay, thankfully I can skip that animation because I don't really learn how to sail by watching it. Good to know Class Strike also breaks armor. Huh? Oh. Oh no, we are doing Ghost Ship. Still at sea. Oh. I feel sick. Oh. Oops. Oh, I shouldn't have skipped that cutscene then. What? This will be interesting. So, we're kind of in like the horror version of this. I kind of liked in the original SNES, it made us kind of sail in circles. I like that it, it slowly built up that feeling that something was wrong as you keep going past the destination. This one, I think we just sailed into the fog, which we saw before this point. I guess it's fine. Yeah, I would not have skipped that if I thought we were immediately doing ghost ship, so oops. Let's see what we get here. Silver item seed, not bad. So one thing that was very da dangerous in the other version of this game uh, 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 don't like this. were the zombies, but I think zombies are mostly really tuned down from the SNES version. 
So I'm actually not too worried about that now. Got another couple wishes. Uh, let's go this way. So I guess the question is who I bring with me. Eventually we're going to be only able to take two party members. I like she like jump scared me by coming around the corner. Like technically I think Hawk would be good, but Risei's the only one with an upgraded weapon. I might have to take Risei with me. Even though I'd really prefer to use the character that uses less items. Uh, no, I can't handle ghosts. Wait. I do feel the presence of spirits nearby. But it's faint. There might be an elemental here? I can't be certain, but stay on the lookout. <gasps> Something's coming. Oh, be careful. Oh, this will not be an easy win. Do not give up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I could... I could take advantage of the level 1 class strike, I think. To kind of stun these enemies. That's not too bad. Nice. Double XP is actually huge here. Medicinal herb, sure. Okay, so they're still fairly tanky, but yeah, they're not as terrible. Like, they did a lot of damage to me there. Don't get me wrong to my partners, because... My partners are dumb, but I feel like comparatively, it's not too bad. Oh, are they letting you get an item shop now here? I don't think that was in the original. If so, that's especially not as terrible. Also, I keep forgetting which one is the open chest button since I flipped it. Oh, an actual mimic. So again, I'm kind of using my level 1 class strike to stun lock, which I think is a good strategy. Gold item seed, nice. See, it's like, I wish the AI was... It, the weird part is, like, didn't I tell them to be more aggressive with their abilities? Yeah, use class strike without falling below 25% of gauge. Why aren't they using class strikes? They're sitting at 300%. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, maybe they don't want to pop their level 2 because they can't do that, but they should at least be popping their level 1s, right? Which is fine, that's what I was hoping for. Oh, speaking of which... Okay, so I did get another class strike as Y button. Just wanted to confirm. I wasn't looking in the corner when I was pressing the button. So that's fine. You wish you'd never cross paths with us. Oh. oh, there we go. They actually used their ability. Although not a great use of it, but we'll give them that. They did finally use it. Medicinal herb, that's fine. Like the zombie shopkeeper. So I could sell some items if I really need to. At least I can make up some of my cash now. Use class strikes often is equal not often at all. I mean, it's, it feels like it for sure. Like, I, I purposely set them to be more aggressive. So that, so again, this is like another beginner friendly thing. Like, we did the, like... Comparatively, zombies were, I think, almost two-shotting me when I first did this because I had no armor upgrades. And similarly, we're here with no armor upgrades, but I don't feel that in danger other than our allies being dumb. Which is fine. The moment we find an ability to heal or we find little pots that also heal us, 
I think we're we're doing fine with that. Well, there's even a weapon shop here. Oh, how nice of them. That, that's new. Oh, our ally. Any ideas? Who's steering the boat? So what is this? It says Shell of the Blood Book, Death Diary, Curse Calm, Twilight Tome. Oh, so that's actually pretty close to the original one. I actually do I still have my original notes? Let me check. What was it in the original game? It was Death Diary. Or excuse me, it was Blood Book, Death Diary, Curse, Death Diary. So they changed it up a little from the original. I actually, I still have it. It was originally 3-1-2-1. So I'm going to say new is Blood Book, Death Diary, Curse Column, Twilight Tome. So it's, so you can't just purely memorize it from the other game. That's fine. So essentially, at some point, we need to find a bookshelf. Oh, is this the bookshelf? Blood book. Star scroll. Alright, so we're gonna have to take a look around for those at some point. So they spread the books out, which I don't think I like. Alright, so let me... I didn't realize we were going to be taking notes this session. One second as I leave it open so I can read it. I'm going to move this here. So I might as well just do it in the order that it gave me. Oops, don't want to do that. So it was blood. We'll do blood now. Blood should be this book. Now we need to find Death Diary. This should be the curse column. I'm just making sure I wrote the name down correctly just now. So we don't want to do that yet. So there is a weapon store and an armor store. So again, much more generous than the SNES version. I hate that lingering uppercut. There we go. Good enough. I should level soon enough to heal, which is convenient. Oops, I keep forgetting. Confirm is this button. So, like, I could eventually get Shark Tooth for one of our characters. Chain Glove on Kevin would be really huge. Rise already has her weapon upgrade because we found it randomly. So we'll take a look and see if we need any weapon upgrades or if we'll find another weapon or armor upgrade along the way. Dangerous. The I did not use the right button there. Oh, it actually killed her. That's kind of annoying. Sorry about that. Oh, I didn't realize it was going to attack again that quickly. Took me by surprise there. Amazing. I feel so powerful. <laughs> I love she's like, I feel so powerful. She literally died. Alright, so we're gonna put this away. So it seems like instead of having the uh, weapon wheel, we get guaranteed fights versus the mimic, which is fine. So we did Death Diary, this should be Curse Column. Now we just need the Twilight Tomb. Not to be confused with this star thing we saw earlier, hopefully. Anyway, let's try going in here. There we go. 
my potential feels limitless. So it seems like even if they're dead, they still get the XP. So now I'll know not to waste Cup of Wishes. So that's one positive thing I've learned. I have no hope in their survival, but should be good here. I think I want to just in keep increasing his luck score. So from my takeaway, I think they combine dex into luck. So I'm assuming all the damage dealt by arrow rain and spikes is determined by luck now. And I think in addition, luck determines potentially the amount of damage done with thrown weapons. That's going to be my assumption, but we don't have a lot to really test that. I probably just want to keep raising spirit for now. That way I can learn spells in the future. So all my party is basically back at full health. So I am at least getting some experience here. So yeah, I could get seven more defense, but when they're taking 140 plus, does that really matter if it's like 130 or 120? I don't think so. Don't think the defense is enough to make me care. Glad we got the candy back, actually. This one means business. <laughs> Oh, I didn't dodge in time. There we go. Wow, I didn't knock him down that whole time. That's unfortunate. So now I've leveled. I get a little free heal there. So in a way, under leveling is also kind of nice with me. Because then I don't have to worry about their uh, age as much. So this is the Twilight Tome. So this should be the final book I need to put back. So yeah, they've completely redone the layout of the ship, which is fine. I don't think I have any complaints about it. We don't seem to be able to force a lot of additional encounters, which is also fine for me. I'd prefer not to do that. So I have a lot of spare candies in case I just want to use them. Right now, I don't think I need to. But at least we should be able to very cheaply get a strong healing source. So I'm hoping as we get further in the game, healing AI will be less annoying because I'll get more out of it. Okay, so we can advance the plot here. Let's go ahead and get MP back and heal up. Nice little mini restore. What? Uh, ship's log. Captain's diary, and it just says death, 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 death. Oh, scary. Hello well there. It's me, Matelo, the supernatural enthusiast. I have fulfilled a dream of mine. I'm a ghost. But now that I've tried it out, I think I'll go home. Now it's your turn to try. Farewell. What a awful voice effect. Welcome, Dango. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, you are not taking Kevin out of the party. Nice try, right, chat? Nice try. Good joke. Ah, not a ghost. No. Too young. Looks like whatever curse that man has passed to you. Once you're cursed, you can't get off this ship until you give it to someone else. Give it to someone else. Uh, wait! Oh, they ran. How mean. Does it really matter? You were considering switching places with one of your friends. Don't deny it. <laughs> oh, uh, he caught me. Hmm. Whoever or Whatever made this curse is on this ship. The rest of the group should look for it. All right, so I think if you want my place, I can search instead. 
Let me know. I think we have to bring him, and I think Rise is mandatory. On this ship with only the two of us? He can't take it. Switch. Yeah, I think Hawkeye's ability to reduce items needed is not as powerful as Risei's ability to debuff right now. So sadly, we'll have to just do it with two people. I would like a save at some point, though. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. So far, Ghost Ship is a lot more tame. It gave you a lot of quality of life. Uh... Updates. I could avoid the zombies. I probably do want to fight the zombies and then heal later. Oh, this is my fight. No need to trouble yourself. <laughs> oh, oops. I thought they were gonna do a single swipe. Miscounted. I like how she has not dodged a single damn hit. Is she dead? I think she's dead. I like that I literally took one hit and it's just because I forgot the attack and she's literally dead. Thanks, game. Wait, what? Oh, bad. I mean, I don't mind healing myself there. We got a lot of candies, but... Don't know much about the game, but I've seen this bit before, says Dango. Mmm... Yeah, we played through the SNES one before, so I have a good idea of generally what will be occurring for us. Just the dungeon design is quite different than the SNES, which is, I think, better. I think I like this version of the ship more. Also, mostly because it lets you get additional healing, and you're not just completely screwed if you came here without it. So that's probably a poultry chest. So the question is, do I feel like fighting the poultry chest? I guess. We should go together to defeat this threat. Run. Stronger than you think. Why is she not using her class strike? I have genuine questions. I, I did tell her to use it, right? Oh, okay. I just I just want to make sure I'm not hallucinating that I told her to be more aggressive. And that's just now two flights in a row she has not used it. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. It's my favorite chat when the AI does not use their abilities. I love it. Anyway, let's improve our damage. Not until next time. Gold item seed is fine. Allow me. I guess I'll force her to use it and we'll see what her upgraded version is. Oops. Oh, yeah, that did good damage. The area is clear of threats. I like how smooth that went when I took manual control because the AI just doesn't attack as aggressively as I do. Thanks, game. Thanks for confirming something for me that you just choose now to attack. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna save that heal for after this fight. Let us work together to defeat the enemy. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Let's do this. Okay, we're building up decent CS on that. Let's move. So again, this extra money will go towards uh, potentially one new weapon or something like that. Let's go back to the other room and get a quick heal. So I think things are going okay at the moment. I've also noticed that she's not very aggressively stat downing. 
Is there a way to get her to really focus on that so I don't have to manually tell her to do that? So, I mean, maybe w when we're in the boss fight, I'll probably manually tell her to decrease defense. But, like, for example, when I was comboing the Poltergeist, it would have been really nice if she used her ability. I'm just saying. It says, release the lost soul and catastrophe will be averted. Okay, so we're making progress. I've gotten an okay amount of cash. We're at 2300, so I can almost afford a weapon again. We have a good amount of healing. I don't have a lot of walnuts, but I don't think I need them at the moment. Maybe when we get to the next class stage, if that ever happens, it'll be relevant. But for the most part, AI is not using enough MP for it to matter. I could increase my stats if I'm not going to new game plus to make the game a little easier, maybe. We'll take the save that's here. So yeah, so far, much easier ghost ship. That was a good opportunity to build up CS. I could avoid the fight, but I, I really do want money. If I did not want money, I would have been skipping the fight for sure. Okay, so we basically earned a decent amount of gold back. Go ahead and take this, got another sap cure, which I did not really purchase earlier, but we did pick up quite a few, so I'm not feeling worried. I will check out the side rooms. Hmm, nothing in this door. Nothing in here either. Disappointing. Let's go back and save. So we, there can't be too much more to the ghost ship itself. So we're coming in with almost full CS gauge on a boss, which is really good. And fortunately, also, I have one less AI with me. So hopefully that means, chat, that uh, they will not burn through all my healing. So uh, positives. <laughs> They, they can't take nine of my healing items as easily if there's less of them. Ah, oh, so it is going straight to the boss battle. Welcome to my ship of wandering souls. Stop the curse! Let my friend go! There is but one way. Defeat me. Now, in the original version, the boss kept getting outside of melee range. Two of us now. Can we win? So I'm curious if something similar will happen. I believe we are out of options. Oh. Where is the boss? Oh, there it is. Why are we doing so little damage? Uh-oh. Well, I think it's time to buff my attack. Did she just legit get one shot? Him, please. Stay 
Oh, I keep forgetting when it builds up. That, that's on my bad. That's on my bad. I'm used to its other effects having more of a noticeable change. Oh, I can't change it mid-battle. That's kind of annoying. Okay. I was going to change our strategy. So that way she can auto-heal, so I don't have to do that. I mean, I guess I should know to do that preemptively, I guess. I'm not going to fully blame the game for that. It's just more annoying. Yeah, that time I respected the spin. Oh. Am I supposed to attack that? How is she almost dead, by the way? That was my bad. I'm assuming something would have happened if I had hit it fast enough. I just don't think I can convince the AI to hit it that quickly. Oh, I think it just teleported. That sucks. Uh, why don't you... Buff my attack again. That's fine. Oh. I thought I actually dodged it the first time. Oops. Ah. So some of those are my mistakes for sure. But it's going okay. Burning like eight candies is like, I don't really care amounts of difference. I wish she would stop pulling this spell towards me, though. Please, please don't pull the spell towards me. I'll take the damage. I need to do more damage to this boss. Throw out of that. Too early. That was my fault. Well, this fight's almost over at least. Now is our chance. This would have been useful to have her happen earlier. Hopefully, this kills him. Yeah, much easier than the other one. But unfortunately, I used probably three or four healing. AI used double that easy. I did get hit once trying to heal the AI. Because I really don't like babysitting them. Oh, that would have been an excellent opportunity to get more XP. But I'm not sure if the other character gets the XP. So I was hesitant to double XP in that fight. You have released my wandering soul. I would be honored to lend you my power and free your cursed compatriots. Welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Team powers from Darkness Elemental Shade. I'm back. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I'll go and join the party. Okay. Dark Saber, Dispel Magic, Evil Gate, literally none of this is relevant. None of our characters have those. <laughs> Just like, not a single clue it was helpful from that tip. <laughs> Shade, if you're here, does that mean the Darkstone is on the ship? Unfortunately, the Darkstone has been lost. In fact, 
It may no longer even be in this realm at all. Huh? When the world faced devastation from a war, the likes of which had not been seen since the rise of the Benevidons, the ever-increasing darkness clouding the world activated the power of the Darkstone. But... then what happened to the Benevidon of Darkness? It is as you assume. Humankind tried to harness the energy of the Mana Stones to bring about peace in the world. But it was not to be. They soon fought amongst themselves over control of that very energy. Dark forces took advantage of this, and soon the world spiraled into an all-out war. Hmm. The Priest of Light mentioned something about that. The seal on the Darkstone was broken, and the creatures of darkness, including the Benevidon, brought the world to the brink of destruction. Since then, the Darkstone disappeared, lost to those of this realm. Bereft of my home, I was forced to wander the seas in this ghost ship for many long years. Do you know what happened to the Benevidon of Darkness? How did the world avoid utter destruction? <laughs> I do not know. The Benevidon, along with the creatures of darkness, simply disappeared without warning. What? It has been many, many years since then. The world recovered, but... Alas, the Benevidon is not gone for good. I believe the monster may have once again returned to the Dark Stone. It may even have been sent back from the darkness. I feel its shadow in this realm again. So, even though humans have no way to deplete mana power on their own, the reason it's become so scarce might have something to do with the dark stone so why ah. if the souls dispersed this ship has no more place in this world Goodbye, ship. Huh? Wait, where? Oh, boy, chat. Luca Island? The volcano looks ready to explode. We gotta get out of here. Somehow. So I'm assuming there won't be any little cactus in areas that no longer reappear. We have indeed become metal. So I believe chat's favorite village is here. On it. it made me in control of Hawk like I want to play him. Nice try game. So he is now down a level. Okay, I that's good I didn't increase my XP earlier then. So money-wise, I'm actually looking pretty good now. I'm gonna leave those there for now. Chat's other favorite character is here. Must find a way off this island quickly. 
So I see a full heal statue, so I might as well just take this encounter. It's essentially literally free money. Dangerous in the air. Need to escape the volcano. Got another candy, so we made up some of the candies that we've used. So yeah, I might as well just take the fights that are immediately near the heal statue. And now we have a character that's under leveled due to what happened earlier. I mean, technically we're still under leveled, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna not use my CS. I'm gonna hold it till we're done with the statues. Alright, we got him in kind of a stun loop, which is neat. Oh, there we go. Was... Was this the intended way to go? Or did I cheese it by accident? I feel like they didn't expect you to do this. Chat's thoughts and opinions. It felt like where I just was was supposed to be a one way. Which, I mean, I'll play the game for that one. That was certainly cheese. Okay, there we go. Huh. Hmm. And again, Chad, re reminder, I told them to be more aggressive with their class strikes. I want you to remember that. So I can't jump up there. Batmoai. I think that's useful, potentially. Other couple wishes. That's good. We lost one. We recovered it already. There's the tomato man. Oh, something I would stun the rabbi. I wasn't able to do that, sadly. How are they almost dead? What? Double XP is really good. We're now two levels above Hawkeye, Tat. That is so awkward. Uh, let's increase our strength. So now our damage should scale pretty well. I don't know if I need to touch any of the other stats. For now, I'll just leave them as is. It's interesting that you can have status effects on your auto attacks. That would be more useful for the other characters. Over 10% of HP when enemy defeated. Like, I could in theory get stamina to help the team survive. But uh, I'd really prefer not to. So I'm just going to go ahead and get Spirit up. I could in theory give her more strength up, but it might be better to hold my points for now. We'll see. Is being able to potentially max out Spirit once we get another class upgrade would probably be more important. I, I, again, I feel like I just went away I wasn't supposed to, but that's okay. We're gonna blame the game. If you let me do it, it's the game's fault. Yeah, our ability to get cheaper class strikes I think kind of suits my playstyle. I basically just want to spam low level ones. Hmm. Did we 
just see something we weren't supposed to? You did see something you weren't supposed to. No need to oh, dodged a little too slowly. Tomato Man is literally helpless against us, so I kind of feel bad for him. Might as well do that, collect the health. So we are still pretty hilariously underlevel compared to the enemy. At least one of us is. But on the flat side, I now have enough money to get a couple upgrades once we're out of here. No question. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. So two treasure chests. Seems to be an area over here. Let's go this way. Hoping we just get a random armor weapon from one of these. Another couple wishes is pretty good. Stored my MP a little more. Sadly, did not double XP there. Wait, they got hit a second time when I swapped out? Oh, that sucks. I, I got clipped once, and that's my fault. Oh well. I'm gonna heal myself, leave our allies to die for now. We should be coming up to a place where we could restock if I really need it. an area back there. Let's go back. For some reason, I thought it was connecting, but it looks like it doesn't. On the plus side, I can heal myself at the urns that are at the other end of the beach. Oh, I forgot to, because we reloaded a game. It's not automatically running. Because why, why would constant dash always be dashing chat? That's just silly. Why would you ever think that? I wasn't intending to come back here, but here we are. Oh. Thought there'd be a chest over here. It appears not to be. This is my fight. No need to trouble yourself. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that's really threatening here is the hobgoblin. So he's just kind of a free way for me to get uh, stats back up without worrying about combos. There we go. So most of my CS is recovered. So I have enough to at least pop a, a rank 1. Hmm, really prefer not to get in another fight if I can avoid it. No need to we already backtracked, we don't need to refight these. There we go, slipping on by. So we went over there, there's one more chest somewhere. Got a chocolate back, which is good. I'm now just weaving through enemies. There we go. Don't need any fights. No, thank you. Ooh, looks like potentially a forced fight here. This is my fight. No need to trouble yourself. This way to Tomato Village. Or Tomato Town, excuse me. Visitors, welcome. Well, we gotta go to Tomato Town, Chad. 
which is kind of funny because we're killing all these tomato men. So I feel like we're just kind of genociding their people that are outside the tomato town. Welcome, Void Money. Hope you're doing well. Tomato Town. Monsters! Lots of monsters! Why so many? Source of food nearby, maybe? Wait! I don't think these monsters mean any harm. They aren't attacking us. Maybe you should try talking to one. This is Tomato you Town. Attacking us. Maybe you should try talking to one. I am fairy. Please stop telling me this. Oh, day night cycle. Awkward. They aren't attacking us. <laughs> Maybe you should try talking to one. They really should have playtested that, right, chat? Like the day night cycle caused her to duplicate. Our party should try never talking, pretty much. Your option is imminent. If you wish to escape, do so now. We'll remain here and let nature take its course. Hello, Hawkeye. These creatures are selling very flammable oil over here. What's the fastest way off this island? Maybe I should try dogging the one, maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You gotta do it at least three times for no reason. Though we're a peaceful tribe, our brethren outside the village could be quite dangerous. Okay. Our town centerpiece has similar properties to the mana statues you're familiar with. This world is a strange place. Okay, so I have a guaranteed save, which is nice. Got extra money. We're also open for business. Please feel free to visit our shop. Sure. Do you have any interesting items? What would you like? I'm not buying armor. Well, what would you like? Um. I almost thought the stock was the price it was charging me, and I'm like, you're charging me 80 per candy? I will kill you. <laughs> no mercy, chat. Um... I think I'll hold off on buying these. Did I learn about fringing? Oh, that's true. I need to learn about fringing. Well, what would you like? Ooh. Well, chat, I'm glad I didn't buy the other upgrade, because I got a better one right here. So I'll buy an upgrade for Hawkeye too. I'll leave Reese where she is and save money on the next purchase. I think that just makes more sense to do. And I forgot that this is actually kind enough to unequip the other items, so I don't have to manually do this. So we'll save future cash maybe for one of the other characters. But yeah, being able to buff our spell damage is kind of important. So I think we're good to go. Let's talk to... Oh, hello, chest. There's two treasure chests here, apparently. There's one. Let's talk to you. Burn the village to the ground, says chat. Jeez. Roll of the seas resides in a cave to the west of the town. To even have a chance of leaving the island, you must seek its aid. However, the entrance to the cavern at the top of the mountain has been caved in by a huge rock during an earthquake. Destruction may come before you can dig around it. So where is the last treasure chest, is the question. Ah, uh, I see it. 800 money, okay. So the game at least is giving me money to make up for how horrible the AI is at dodging. I believe this is a holy scripture to these creatures. Perhaps we should pray for safety. No. Hmm. I'm surprised none of them gave us like a special event. <gasps> hmm. Oh well. I mean, we did talk to all of them, I'm pretty sure. Actually, we'll, we'll double check. Because remember, there was kind of like the fortune teller that gave us a random class ability. Just want to make sure I didn't miss somebody. So we talked to you, we talked to you, I talked to you. I don't think I talked to you. Did not expect such sympathy from outsiders. However, we'll live our lives according to our principles. Thank you for your concern. The memory of the townsfolk has granted you a new ability. Okay, so that was good intuition. 30% MP needed from magic substituted by HP when using magic. 
Oh, see, like, this normally would have been, like, the end-all, be-all god ability for characters like Angela. But for me, it's literally useless. I, I do not want the AI lowering its HP, chat. I'm sorry. Like, they, could, they, they need as much help as they can get. Why would I want to damage them more? Find ruler. Find an escape. Sounds like Seaside Cavern is calling our names. Oh, we didn't fight these creatures yet, so I'll kill them. There we go. Nice, easy murder. Another Stardust Herb, so I can make sure it's nighttime always. I'm just trying to level Hawkeye, but it's not working out. So sad, Chan. Hmm. Nice. At least with our strength up a new weapon, we seem to be doing damage. Uh, so it can level up like the other game. It just wasn't doing that earlier. Ah, uh, I would have focused it more if I thought that was still there. All guy leveling could be useful to us. So this should improve his spell damage, I think. Hold on to the other points for now. Can I climb this, is the question. I feel like this one they rounded a little more. I might not be able to do it. Yeah. I think they thought a little harder on that one, Chad. Unless I could do something weird, like... No, I can't land on that ledge. I tried. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't quite have, like, the air movement that I would have, like, in an East game. So I can't do quite what I want to do here. Was there a chest down here? I just wanted to look. Oh, there is something here. Allow me. Okay. Oh, I was hoping I could swap up. Yeah, I think it's going to force me to go around again. It's annoying. Oh, well. I don't have iframes when I roll? Ew. Ew. I got hit during the roll animation there. That's disgusting. And I wasn't even like at the end of the roll. I was still mid-roll. That's disgusting. So that's the last treasure chest. Any looks are attained. Ooh, what a bad encounter. There we go, now they're using their CS. Did the- I was gonna say, did he just dodge it by transforming? That's something. Item seed acquired. Man, if I did not get the thing that gives me more XP randomly, I don't think we would ever level up a normal fight tier. The game really expects you to grind. Holy. Like, we're still like two levels under. I'm not even getting close to like more than like nine battles plus just the level once potentially. It's crazy to me. Looks like it's my time to shine, huh? <laughs> there was a cave entrance here, but the volcano done went and plugged it right up. 
give me a sec, and I'll fix it for you. Well, be seeing you. Reckon here, Chan. Y'all didn't see what he did. I don't know why no one talks like that, but that's fine. Seaside cavern, okay. Oh no, not the reptile thing, no. Oh, I hated that so much in the SNES version. Please tell me it doesn't just spam cure water over and over. I beg of you, please do not make him heal spam. That was one of the worst enemy types in the other game. Hurry! Can't stop here. Need revenge for Carl. That's like a rock version of the other song. Interesting. Chat saying he looks like a good boy. Oh, he he is my most hated enemy in the game. He would he would just heal loop st like stall for like literal minutes. Ruler. Ruler of the sea? Where? It looks adorable. Don't hurt him. Oh, I'll murder him if I see him. It'll be a murder rage. I'm just letting you know. So I can't go that way. Looks like I'm just getting a preview of the area. Yeah, I think we're about the level that we need to go. Oh, not an easy opponent. But we can do this. Retreat. There you go, Chad. I avoided killing him. You should feel proud. Never mind. I've committed. Okay, he seems way more tame than the other version of the game. Already a quality of life improvement of not being heal looped. More dream reads. So this is giving me a lot of opportunities to make sure it's always nighttime. The tadpoles are also potentially very annoying. Did, did they just move the tadpole out of my attack? That sucked. Sorry, Lizard On. I need you to go away. I like how it's like you completed without getting damage. Uh, look at our allies' HP totals. Thankfully, they don't count towards the bonuses, or else I would never get them. Holy. Uh. By you. Oh, there's a save right there. I guess I could fight this thing. Yeah, I think with our weapon upgrades, we're kind of destroying everything now. Reset leveling is nice. I could fight again to level, but I really don't need it. To be honest with you, I don't need it. Not with this character. So, let's see. Okay, I don't see what I'm looking for in here. Let's... Use a curious cook. No, not curious cookie. Well, yeah, let's curious cookie on the boss fight. It's not going to give us very much, but at the same time, I don't really have a purpose for keeping wind damage. Or I could get rid of fire because we're in the volcano. Let's get rid of that one. So we still have a majority of our healing items, which is nice. Assuming that we're immediately going into a boss fight, let me do this. Let's see if I could get him to heal. Oh, we're not quite at a boss fight. I'd prefer for him to not use my items. Sorry. One thing I kind of miss comparatively is like if we were playing something like 
Valkyrie profile on the PlayStation 1, I would have been able to fine-tune what items are allowed to be used in certain scenarios. I feel really sad that we're in, like, 2024, and I can't tell the AI not to use certain items. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I actually got clipped by that attack? That sucks. Whatever. We're gonna heal anyway. Hmm. Okay, I basically regained all my CS meter, so that's fine. Chest down there, healing here. Guess I could pop this now, because I'm not going to come back this way. Over earrings. So it's just a better version of bracelet, but for females only. Just fine. AI needs as much defense as it can get, right, Chan? I'm not going to say no to that. So we're at 5 out of 6. Oh, I got clipped by that attack, seriously. It's unfortunate. I keep forgetting when you jump in this game, you don't really dodge that much for the most part unless you do like multiple aerials. One down, chat. To find the ruler of the seal, we're done for. Are they just gonna keep spamming those voice lines every encounter? Quite a choice. Uh, I see what I gotta get to. I think they're in my way, chat. Sorry. This is my fight. No need to trouble yourself. <laughs> Now that was a massacre. I'm stronger now. Okay. Let's take this. That is a ton of money. Okay, so the game really wants to make sure I can purchase upgrades after we're done. I'll avoid killing the dino thing for chat. We'll go over here. Oh, awkward. Sadly, we got the XP doubled on a single fight, but that's fine. I would like to get more CS, but I'll refuse to fight the thing that made chat sad. Go over here. Put some CS on you, maybe. So they burned a little bit of their CS, but that's fine. The more important thing is I have my CS. <laughs> more chocolates, that's good. I'll take point and leave the rear to you. Not time for retreat. Oh, I didn't really ugh, I didn't really see CS until too late. Okay, well now I'm gonna have to take this fight because they lost too much CS. Yeah, that's worth doing just and she burns it right as the fight ends that's unfortunate well at least most of us have two meters ish good enough uh is this immediately going to a boss fight 
I am injured, which is a bit unfortunate. Who? I am Malokio. In accordance with the prophecy heralding his Dark Majesty's triumph, I am here to end your lives. It is foretold that you may disrupt his majesty's plans for this realm. Red eyes? You must be the man that traitor and visor mentioned. Give me back my brother Elliot. Aha. So you are Laurent's princess. I have no intention to return the prince. His dark majesty has need of him yet. <laughs> Who is Dark Majesty, what have we done to you? There is no need for you to know the minutia of our plan. After all, you will not leave here intact. <laughs> this active volcano will soon bury you all alive! <laughs> There we go, chat. Wait. Helping us. You love the face. Welcome, Calvisham. Hope you're doing well. I will not skip the cutscenes so chat can enjoy the music and the goofy face. Thanks! Uh, saved us. Go back to Valsena and ask the Hero King uh, about the other mana stones. I was like, how long is it going to awkwardly zoom in on him before it ends? Laurel sees acknowledgement has granted you a new ability. Base HP increased by 60. Oh. I mean... I guess. I don't know how helpful that'll be to me, if any. Oh. What? You... You just teleported me here? What? Wow, that was disorienting. Why didn't you let me walk? F okay. Well, I guess I'm here. What? Yeah, that did not happen in the original. They made you walk back, which is fine. Also, did we not get the summon thing like we did in the SNES? Do we not get to summon him on demand in this version? Disappointing. Yeah, the beach looks real weird. I'm assuming these will level it more than the other one will. Yeah. Oh, uh, did they forget the animation there? Oops. Guess they never expected you to do the triple there. Ugh, fake snoring sounds, please. So I don't think the shops here will have upgraded, but we could check to see if they did anything different for it. No, it looks terrible. Alright, so these shops are still useless. Some things never change, chat. Got all of the chests, so I might as well just proceed with the plot, I guess. Yeah, I guess we don't pan f 
Maybe that's why it kept not showing us the overworld. Do we not get to fly around the overworld in this version? Do we like point and click to the destination? If so, I'm gonna be very disappointed. I'm just letting you know. Like that was kind of like the iconic thing of the Mana series up till this point. With the whole mode seven. Let's continue up the stairs. There we go. You have returned safely. That is fortunate. I see you have located four of the eight elementals. Light, earth, wind, and darkness. You have four left to find. You are halfway to your goal. The Waterstone is in Altena's territory. Its elemental, Undine, may be found to the south of Frostbite Fields in the Labyrinth of Ice. However, I have heard that Altena has already activated the Waterstone's energy. Please, take care. To the south of the Burning Sands is a treacherous place known as Fiery Gourd. Oh, unless the king gives it to us. Maybe the king the gives it to us. Stone and its keeper, Salamando can be found there. Southeast of here is the sprawling Dusk Moon Forest, home of the Beastmen. I have heard the Moonstone lies within its borders, <laughs> but I know nothing more. We're doing that one last. Beware the Beastmen's strength. <laughs> it would do you well to change your class before you attempt to cross into their land. The Woodstone is said to be in the woods of Wandera. Dryad, the stone's elemental, should be located nearby. However, you cannot reach that forest via a land route. South of the woods of Wandera is Lamplum Woods. The elfin settlement of Dior and all its secrets lie within. If you ask the elves, they may have some advice for you. You appear to have received help from Vuskov, ruler of the seas, to escape Buka Island. I assume it is because you were chosen by fairy. Here in Valsena, we have a flute that has the power to summon Vuskov. However, because the creature is not fond of humankind, we sealed it away. If Fuskov has accepted you, you can use the flute to summon the creature by playing it on any sandy beach in the world. Vuskov will come to you. Take it with you, with my blessing. Okay, so now I'm curious what that will look like once we use the fairy flute. Because the game hasn't really been showing, like, I am aware from having played the SNES version where some things are, but, like, the entire time that we've been in, like, the overworld, whether we're sailing between different points, or whether Vuskov himself sends us here, it never really showed us a world map at any point as they were exploring, which was kind of the SNES ways of teaching you where to go. So, I find that was kind of a big whiff on their part. Why do I need to talk to him? I'm Von Jor, younger brother of Von Voyage. He told me about you, he even gave me the cannon to help you through little adventures. Hop in, I'll send you to my brother's place in Maya. Um. I say no, what do you do? Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna annoy me until I do it, okay. Can I really not skip this? Oh, there we go. Thought I did star first. I really don't want to watch them go in the cannon. I'm sorry.
So we gotta go back to the beach. I'm assuming this is the game just trying to guide me to the nearest beach. Hmm, do I need any last second items? I would like to go to the night market at some point. Well, lots of wares to browse. So we're good there. So we have potentially we have the fire boss coming up in case I want to buff myself and the ice boss. Then we have Dryad and Luna. So we'll see what the other place has for us. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to the beach. Although that's such a long walk. Actually, curiosity, will let me go to the night market this way? So it looks like they're still gonna force me to put it in my item slot here, which is not ideal. And I will get rid of... Fairy Walnut for now. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Let's do this. That's kind of not ideal that this still takes up a slot. This is an example of something that should have just been in, like, a separate menu. Versus making me re-equip this. So now let's see what it lets me do here. Yeah, we have to go to Father Slap. Oh, now it shows us the locations. Also, the movement here is really fast compared to the SNES version. Which is probably for the best. So I could stop at the Red Light Forest. Yeah, that is a big, big speed increase over SNES version. That would have taken forever. I think this is where I want to go. Uh, does Palo Port let me go to the night place? Let's find out. Because <laughs> I remember it's very convoluted in the SNES version how to quickly get to the night port. It's weird in which, like, it's a place you need to go back to pretty often, but there's, like, not a way you can consistently go there. Because you can't park the turtle in the port. Okay, so you will take me to where I need to go. That's not too bad, then. Yeah, like, this cutscene I should have been able to skip. Like, why even bother- why did you load this into another loading scene? Why did- why did you do those trials? Alright, at least let's skip that. Also, feel sad. I- I slept till night and then it became day by the time we got here again. Unfortunate. Welcome. So unfortunate. I did think ahead, it just I didn't think it would take that long to get here. Rip. See, so yeah, I really have to decide how much of this is gonna help me. Well, lots of wares to browse. We get poto oils now if I wanted to. I think I'll hold off for now. That'll be something I think we come back to in the end of the game. I right know I don't think I need them. Well, lots of wares to browse. Oh, good choice. I get like 15 of these. So we do have some dispels. I could get some more fire claws, which is good fine. Let's get a couple of those. I still have wind. I have earth. Get more water. Good choice. Come again. 
So that way, I, I'm not going to bother using these on our allies, because I think our allies are actually quite garbage at dealing damage. But putting it on me is fine. So if I build six claws for myself for one battle, that should be fine. I'll put everything at six for now, in case we pick up some along the way. Three Spectre Eyes is probably good enough for the end of the game. I really only need one, technically. Because there's only one boss we fought last time that even needed to use it. Curiosity, how expensive is this now? 3,000. Yeah, screw you. Anyway, I think we're good now. So goodbye all of our money. It went towards buffs. So we will not be able to get an upgrade at the... De I'm probably going to go Desert Town first. I think we'll do the same order I did in the SNES. I went to uh, Fiery Gorge. Then I went to Ice Area. Then I think I went to Moon Tower because I was forced to. And then I did uh, Dryad last. I don't mind doing Dryad before that, though. Well, on the plus side, I'm getting pretty fast money. Did that seriously not break his guard with the power attack? That sucked. So sad, John. I'll take a little bits of money on my way there. Yeah, see how I have to do the long walk here? Maybe it was faster to actually take a ship in real time. Because it's making us walk the entirety of the Golden Road. Yeah, it's probably faster to take a ship again. But I just wanted to confirm that that was the only place we could have gone. Man, that guy's armor makes him way more annoying than he should be. Whatever. Not a fan of that for sure. So, so far the game is definitely much easier than the SNES version. Good for these guys. Getting free candy is good there. The doubling XP almost makes it worth it. Almost. I keep forgetting I need to dodge because he doesn't break his guard instantly. Despite the power difference. Oh well. So I have a lot of CS gauge for later. Void Money says, sorry I've been listening, just booted up Final Fantasy 14 at the same time, immediately got sucked into something. No worries, Void Money. We appreciate the support and company. As long as you're having a good time, that's all that matters. So yeah, I have a feeling based off on what Imperameter mentioned earlier. I didn't comment on it, but... Yeah, if this was the tortoise and the tortoise and the hare story, it'd be quite something. So... Can I set waypoints in this game? No. Okay, so what I want to do... I want to go to Obliva Isle or whatever it's called to see if there's a cactus there. Since that's... Not something I have to worry about for quite some time. And then we'll proceed to go forward. Oh, I passed. We're moving so fast I didn't think I passed it. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. So there's nothing to do here yet, but once we get all the spirits, we'll be able to do something with this place. Let's have a little early peek. Two hundred money for our troubles, so kind of worth it already. There's nothing we can do here for now. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come back once we have all eight elementals on our side. Yeah, yeah. Stop telling me what to do, fairy. I'm my own person. Couple wishes. That's a good pickup. Huh. 
I'm waiting for the cactus just to be along this path for no reason. What to do over here? Huh. Interesting. Is it really not here? Let's look a little more carefully. Oh, I didn't see it because it was like that. That's a good one. You found a little cactus. Nice try, tree. Yeah, escape time halved is going to be so important for late game because I basically don't want to fight anything after a certain point. I know I think it's okay to level. Love how the game is like, hint, please use the fairy flute, please! <laughs> Like, I get it, Trials. It's fine. You get that random double X, triple XP. Yeah, I don't really like it as a mechanic, to be honest, Calvisha. It feels like if I just got lucky, I wouldn't have to grind at all. So it just makes me feel salty. I would have rather it had been like a grade system, which it kind of did already. Uh, then done that. So anyway, we're going to go down to the desert capital. I would have rather it had a flat XP multiplier, even if it was just like 10%. Yeah, let's go this way. Oops, circle too tightly. That's why we check our map. So yeah, we're not gonna be able to afford anything here, I don't think. Just due to the, the sheer fact that healing items are just kind of expensive, which is kind of irritating. So we're going to have to go without an upgrade here. Desert Capital, Shire Town. So we'll have an opportunity, I think, to upgrade once before we do the Moon Tower. I definitely do not want to do the Moon Tower with our current gear. Ugh, hot. Cold is better. Hot is bad. No food around here. So how well, expensive is the next bro. upgrade? Still quite a bit. No food around here. Where is the mana stone? So potentially I could. I could upgrade Reese on the way back, because she never got a weapon upgrade. Please do not waste water. Cause she she's one upgrade behind the party. Because she picked up a random weapon on the way. Talk to the little girl here. This is the desert capital. Thank you for that very important lore. What do you have to say, old woman? Oh, child. Her parents were attacked by thieves in the desert and never seen again. Okay, we'll talk to Reese here for more dialogue. This is the first I've seen such, felt such wind and harsh sunlight. It's good to broaden one's horizons, I believe. Hmm. I saw a cat carrying a great bag, big bag the other day. Oh, we'll be seeing them soon enough. Oh, got attacked by Navarro thieves. They took all the cargo and sank the ship. Drink in the shade is the best, am I right? Back in my day, we didn't complain about the temperature. There we go. We're slowly regaining some cash, which is nice. You should get to work yourselves. Nothing like working up a good sweat. La la la, says the girl. Let's see if there's anything up here worth stealing. <laughs> That's what my mind is in. I'm just like, I just want the shiny chat. Oh, well, not let me jump on that. I apparently can't jump on that. Oh, game. 
disappoint me sometimes. Hello, Hawkeye. Burning sand is up ahead. It's part of Navarro territory. So don't get cocky unless you plan on tempting fate. Hello, guy dancing in the streets. Okay, so that's the item dealer. Let's go in the tavern. Keep an eye out for the Navarlin hooligans while you're in the desert. It's good as lost if they take your provisions. I have goods to deliver to Din, the oasis in the east. The desert is crawling with monsters and thieves. Wish me luck, I need it. Yeah, I might be able to get one upgrade by the time we get to the other oasis. Welcome, take a seat. Then I refuse to. What happened to the noble thieves of Navarre? They've been raiding everyone without rhyme or reason. Also, apparently I can't go back here. The invisible wall is intense. Don't see many new patrons, but we're right at the entrance to the desert. Okay, so they could talk to everybody here. Let's talk to small kid. Mom sent me on an errand, but it's too hot. Medicinal herb acquired. Didn't find any treasure chests yet, which is kind of crazy. Silver item seed attained. I'm also not sure if the uh, cactus is here. Hmm. Is it possible to jump over there? It is. Oh, there's nothing up here. That's disappointing. I'm looking for treasure chests, but I don't see them still. Hmm. Weird. So I could hop back up there in case I want to get treasure, I guess. Cat says meow. Can I, can I seriously not jump on that doorway? another pot over there and no reward for coming over here there is a door so maybe this is the other method it wanted us to do to get up here this will bring us back into the weapon shop hmm So I think we've explored everything, but I've yet to find a single treasure box, which makes me think that there has to be one in a house somewhere that I missed. There's also this area up here, so let's go over here. Assuming there's one chest, at least. A couple wishes, there's little cactus. What am I doing? Just taking care of the strange cactus I found, that's all. Dialogue doesn't update when I get rid of it. Yeah, I'm not sure where the other treasure chest is. I'm not going to worry about it. I found what I was looking for, quote unquote, which is little cactus. It's the only thing that super matters. Alright, so whatever. We'll move on. Treasure chest sees monster on flashbacks. What do you mean? Running Sands. I mean, there's treasure chests in every game. I don't think of East Monstrum specifically. Fiery Gorge in this desert. It is dangerous to wander in the desert. Please be careful, everyone. Yeah, let's get these. They say it a lot. I guess. Go this way. Is this a before? Like, I when I think of Treasure Chest, I don't think of that game, to be honest. I know you're playing it more recently, which helps towards that. But, uh, let's go this way. I'll say, look, a treasure chest. Old item seed acquired. I'm mostly ignoring combat for now. Let's go this way. Can I do something the game doesn't want me to do? Huh. 
Almost. Can almost go the way it doesn't want me to go. I just had like a little bit more of a lip. I could have done it. Yeah, sadly, he doesn't get enough height to do what I need him to do. Oh, well, I'll go the intended way. Oasis is down south. That's fine. Hmm, so the moment I touched the sand, it built up momentum. So I, I noticed they slow me down to try to purposely not let me climb this. That's funny. Yeah, so the sand for some reason affects me in the air. That's fine. Uh, do I need to get any items here? Look briefly over here. Don't see anything. So I'll fight these things real quick. I love their level 29. I'm so hilariously underleveled. Let's see. Take this. Wishes is okay. So it would take about 18 fights to level right now, unless I get double XP. See, like, that to me is just insane, chat. The XP is still terrible, let it be known. It's like, yes, you should be level 29, and I'm like, well, I mean, if I have to do, like, 18 fights to level once, I'm never going to level in time. It's kind of your fault, game. I'd like to not fall off there. See if there's anything over here. So I could now purchase a weapon upgrade if I need to. We'll save her for the Oasis, potentially. Because I do feel like our damage did tank very suddenly, and I think that's more due to levels than anything else. Either that or it wants us to do it in a different order. Like, maybe the order they told us is the one it wants us to go in. Guess we'll find out. But the weird thing is, like, my weapons are not that far behind. I'm only one upgrade behind. But I feel like I'm doing, like, half damage compared to just earlier. Weird. Yeah, Tomato Man's an easy kill, so I might as well just murder them. Okay, that fight was worth more than the other one for some reason, which I guess is fine. I mean, if they get closer to 500, that's fine, but if they start giving, like, 300, like, that's just not worth it at all. To get, like, literally 6,000 to level. Just, it's bad math, Chad. I'm gonna kill this thing before it powers up. Nice. Yeah, see like that? Even with the bonus XP, that's not great. Too many fights to level. So, it feels less like a maze in this version of the game. Awkward. So, I mean, werewolf form is definitely going to help a little bit with damage. Oh, I can see the little cactus. Oh, can I really not just jump up here? You really going to make me go all the way around for this? Seriously? 
Like, I feel like that's almost low enough for me to get on. I needed just like a little bit of a height. Can I jump from here? Almost. Yeah, the problem is like, in the, the physics in this game are very weird. Like if I touch a wall and I attack, I just go backwards sometimes. It's very awkward for sure. Uh, so we're gonna have to loop around to get the other cactus. I'm gonna avoid fighting these. I don't think they're worth my time. Okay. So the town should be down there somewhere. Oh, I didn't know you had armor. I attacked too late. <laughs> that explains some things. Yeah, so maybe these being a mix of level 29 and or level 30 and 29 might be better for XP. So how much were just these two enemies worth? Make no mistake. Not a lot. I'll cut you a level though. I don't... <laughs> I'm always... I think I went the wrong way and got the item anyway. That's fine. Just... <laughs> just casual trials things. Also, what happened to that texture? Why is it, like, stretched and blurry? You, f you feeling okay there, Rox? It looks like somebody took a smudge tool to you. What happened? It's very weird how it rendered. <laughs> Can I seriously, can I really not make this jump? I feel like, I feel like I should have been able to, regardless of what the map says. So we have this path over here I can't do anything with, where there's another path, apparently. So we'll come back here later on, I think. Sure, I'll get MP, although we didn't use that much. Hmm. There is a path back there. I should probably check that out before I go further. Two chocolates, okay. I mean, the game owes me a lot of healing items, so it's a start. Like, legitimately, if I didn't purchase all those healing items, I would have been doing a uh, all weapon upgrade right now. Let's do this. They should be able to kill one of these, hopefully. I think I got tagged briefly, but that's fun. So let's go back this way. See if there's a chest or anything over here. Item seed, okay. Maybe it'll be something helpful later. See, I would have, I would have loved allowing the uh, rogue in our party to just throw items constantly. On the face of strength, do not but I, I just that. don't trust him with my healing. So we've almost found another area. So Wasis should be straight in front of me. How tough are you? Okay, so you have armor, which makes sense. How did she not dodge that? Let's do this. I'm gonna interrupt the attack so our ally doesn't die. I think I heard it heal itself there. That is, as we like to say, not worth. So yeah, only some of the fights appear to be worth doing. Like, only getting 280 is pathetic. I I'm not sorry, that XP is garbage. When you need 6,000 plus to level, and after your bonuses, getting like between 1 and 15%, it still doesn't even touch 500? That's insane. 
given that we're like six levels under level, that is insane how bad the XP is here. Disappointing, Chan. But anyway, we're at the Oasis. We're lucky there's a town here. Oh, lots of food and water. Yeah, there's like legitimately one enemy that seems to give decent XP and all the others are just bad. And that includes that armored creature we fought was not worth it, which is two. The wishes, pop some of these. I'll maybe take an encounter with like four enemies in it, but so far not impressed. The older of this town, the ancient scrolls say Burning Sand used to be lush and green, but people began fighting for the use of mana until the plants withered and died. Only the oasis survived, the desert has been dried forever. The scrolls say that when the oasis water dries up completely, calamity will be upon us again. I don't think I ever really revisited this area after a certain event occurs. Winter in the oasis is gradually drying up. At this rate, it'll be completely gone one day. There are no more treasure chests, okay. Please, be safe, Elliot. Yeah, I don't think there will be anything hidden in the item shops. Oh. What's this? There is a downstairs. Interesting. Well, what interest ya? Come again! So we still have a lot of chocolates and candies, so hopefully that'll last us until after Moon Tower. That was the intent of purchasing that many. I probably want a weapon upgrade here, because it feels like my damage is terrible. <gasps> that guy's complaining that the weapon and armor guy never awake at the same time, which is good. All I care about are weapons. So this is not a big damage increase. I think what I'll do, I'll get Reese's weapon. I had wanted this. Then I can hopefully sell the other one to purchase it. And that'll give me just enough for Kevin to get an upgrade. And then we'll hold off on upgrades for a while in case we find another one at some point. Come again. Weapon shop hour, shade time, lumina time for armor. Okay. There we go. I had a feeling you were around here somewhere. And a little cactus. Huh, we got the ability. We'll still check on the way back because that other area was pretty big. But I feel I feel good. We got most of what we needed here. More seeds, which is why I was holding off on going to the inn. Now I think we can use the inn. Hopefully level up the box here. Hit level three. Let's see what it gives. BI, medicinal herb, poto oil. Poto oil is a good pickup. We need those for later in the game. Right now, I don't need them. Another vitality elixir. Okay. Let's go to sleep Welcome. and then check out some places. So yeah, on the way back from the Fiery Gorge, we'll take a look at the desert one more time. Right now, I don't think I'll backtrack. So if I feel like I missed something, we'll wait for later. Because I'm not sure if we miss any chests as well, but we'll find out by going to the other area how hard I need to re-explore on the way back. So we've gotten at least one from the Burning Sands. We got one from the Oasis. We got one from the Desert Town. There could be one in like this big area over here. I could have missed something over here because there that whole area in the center was like a big old nothing. So that to me is a bit suspicious. I'm going to check that out again because it's very likely I missed a chest or something simple there. Because it was weird that like everything dumped you there, but there weren't any items. 
But it's possible I didn't see it because I didn't go all the way in. Oh, I can almost stand there. So sad. Don't you throw a pumpkin at me, you sure. Aww. They hit my ally and that caused me to get hit. Thanks, ally. The area is clear of threats. We have earned a rest. Yeah, yeah, earn the rest, whatever. Let's pick up this item. More money. Explore over here first. Our destination, I believe, is to the southeast, if it's like the SNES version. But we can explore a little bit on, in the meantime. All of us, <laughs> no time. Okay, escaping battle is so fast now. Oh, that feels so much better. It almost doesn't feel like I'm forced into combat now, which is good. Retreat. Like that's the kind of that's the kind of escape speed I've been looking for. Let's go this way first. It is unwise to get in our way. <laughs> Oh, even with that damage increase, I feel like I'm not doing that much more. Let's do this to stun them. Oh, the sand stops me from hitting them, that's so annoying. Seriously? Can you please come into a point where I can hit you? Thank you. Yeah, rebuild a lot of CS there, at least. Wow, all that effort, 300 XP. Do you see what I mean, chat? Not worth. So bad. Uh... Go this way. Gotta get this nuisance out of the way. Try and catch me! So there is a chest up there. I can almost stand on this one. We're so close. Ooh. Ooh, oversight? Oh, so close. I'll do this. Oh, it's like just barely not enough height. I could just get like a pixel higher. I think it'll work. Something like this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Could I stand there? But like for a second I could. One more time. Then we'll move on. Aw, oh, won't let me. That's a shame. I think there's like a little bit of a gap, but it's like, I'm just like slightly not high enough to skip that. Oh well. Take the chest. We'll look at our treasure count before we go to the next area. Missing a treasure chest. I feel like we're getting closer. Uh, I don't think I really want to take that fight if I can avoid it. Pick this up. Candy count's looking good. There's a group of people over there. Interesting. I don't remember that being a thing before. Oh, unless it's another... Oh, maybe it's the Bill and Ted Reef match? Uh, Let's change you to use items then. I think this is the case. Dream read. I'm going to use the dream read now. Oh my gosh, I lost sight of where it was. There we go. I definitely want to be at nighttime for more damage. I feel like our CS meter is fine. Yeah, and I can self buff if I need to without pausing as quickly. This should be good. 
It took me a while to recognize the characters. I'm like, wait a minute. Jessica! Hawkeye! Stay back! Everybody's getting slapped in this game. I lifted your curse. Now show some gratitude and prove your usefulness. Slap. <laughs> Bill, Ben. I believe you have a score to settle. This is your last chance. Yes, man. So I'll be able to use the strength skill on myself. Wait, Jessica, get out of my way, Bill. And hopefully our ally defenseless is them. To face us. We won't go easy on you like last time. Behold this dark power that Belladonna has given us. Snap out of it. We were friends. Don't you remember? Bill? Ben? Let's get it done, Ben. On it! Secret attack, evil fusion! Can't get those two to snap out of it. Are you lost for good? Not prepared. Oh, it didn't break this guard. go through them in theory he should be good at using items I did not time that correctly. Seriously? Can they please dodge shot? I swear. Uh, let's use another strength up on ourselves. Think if you lock on the attack, stop at the target. When you mean the attack stop at the target? I don't know what that sentence means. I don't like the lock on it in this game. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ooh. Let's use a heal. The problem is they got me tagged earlier. I'm gonna be forced to heal here. Oh, you still have shields. That's unfortunate. Oh, I thought it was out of range. That time that was my fault. That was my fault. I had a feeling if I missed one, at least I'd hit the other. chocolate on her as I buff. Oh, I'm gonna get punished. Oh, or not. Go away from me. I don't want Shadow Venice. I'm gonna pop this. Oh. I guess... Yeah, let's try one thing. Okay, so lock on will stop it from going past. Maybe that's what Kalvisha meant. I'm not a big fan of lock on gameplay, but I guess I'll have to do that going forward. 
Can you please leave me alone? Seriously? Wasn't sure what the other one was. There we go. I'm trying to keep their health total similar so they don't revive each other. Of course she's gonna die. This is what I'm talking about, chat. I feel really frustrated where it's just like, I'm doing fairly well in the fight, and I gotta waste time reviving like these idiots because they can't dodge like a single attack. I swear, chat. Like I'm, I'm dodging like the shadow moves, the poison daggers. Like this is not a hard fight, but it's like they just literally refuse to dodge. Let's see if we can finish the fight here. Oh, I forgot to lock on. Hopefully this kills. There we go, good finish. That's an okay amount of XP. Yeah, the rematch was very easy. So fortunately, I think what happened there is I was at least in werewolf form Why for this. Have to come to this. Belladonna ruined everything. What could Belladonna be doing here anyway? Is she after the mana stones too? I think I'm just used to the SNES where it just snaps to the target automatically. And in my defense, after the mana stones too? I re- I what's up Belladonna's sleeve. I just need to save Jessica. Okay, character, shut up. I want to talk for a moment. So I think where I'm looking for it is this, like, when it doesn't behave the same way as the SNES, it's kind of awkward. I would rather it have targeted onto an enemy. But I guess I could see why you would want it to free attack. I would have preferred at least, like, a soft home towards a target. Okay, so what am I going to do differently for the fire boss? I need to change my ring at some point. Uh, replace the mole bear claw, I think. The silencing enemy we could take advantage of later, maybe. Side and claw over the other choice. So I still have three strength ups if I need it. We must continue to try them. I'm assuming it won't let me get past here. Because this happened the first time we we're here in the SNES. It would be funny if I could get by there though. That would sequence break pretty hard. There we go. I just need to build my CS up, so I'll take a couple of fights here and there. Will we even make it? Gotta find the Firestone. Hmm. Maybe not. It is unwise to get in our way. Oh, did that really hit me? It sucks. I thought for sure I stunned them with that attack. Must have been a little slow. Oh well. 
At least I have a lot of CS now for the next fight. So if I take another two fights, I auto revive basically my HP. What? That one was on me. Wait, do they? Wait, can they take damage from the stage hazard? Actually, speaking of which, was I still using uh, what's it called? A plus thirty HP on one of them? I might have been. Yeah, let's let's give you more HP because you're gonna die all the time. Um. <laughs> yeah, the one where she gets increased damage when taking damage. I think that's good. S Class Strike cost down is good. Sat down MP saver is fine. Dirty's so lucky find equip. I could give him another 30 HP if I wanted to. Hmm. I don't know if that ability is super useful. Why don't I just give him more HP for now? Could give him magic switch in theory, because he does do some spell damage. Hmm. I don't want him to lose HP. You know, let's just make him tanky. That way I have like a quasi tanky NPC. That's heal spamming. <laughs> Goodbye, evil ninja. With the strength, I can make a difference. You wish you never cross paths with us. Sorry about that. She's stronger than you think. Yeah, making sure I kill at least one of these. Oh, wait, why did that hit me? I wasn't in the zone. Oh, that's unfair. Unless more than one used it or something weird. Oh well. Okay. So I should level again with another fight. So I think it's worth taking another fight just to level. So we are in pretty early parts of Fiery Gorge. Since it's one, there could be in one or two, the cactus. So I have to keep an eye out, I guess. But so far not seeing anything of interest. Ooh, barely did enough damage. I love that tank. I love how tanky Hawkeye is. I find that kind of funny. See, I don't really have a point in leveling these. I'm making level luck, because I think that improves this damage with items or healing in some scenarios. Uh, hold on to these points. I think what I'll do is. Him specifically. Yeah, definitely like payback. Item drop rate is okay so far. I could... I wish I could give counter to another character, because I would rather it be on Kevin for more damage. Because I'll sometimes take a little bit of damage when I fight. Um... I'm trying to think what I was going to do. I don't think I need to do anything yet, actually. Acquired. So yeah, that's hopefully that makes our item user tankier, which could be useful for us. Okay, so they do get struck by it, but they don't take damage. Okay, that's fair. I was worried we were getting punished for that. This is my fight. No need to trouble yourself. We built some CS. Take care of that. 
XP was almost worth it. Almost. Hmm. I prefer not to get into that particular fight. This will not be an easy win. Do not give up. Wow. Thanks, game. Thanks. Thanks for putting the barrier right where I wanted to go. I appreciate that. Two cups of wishes. Not worth it. Hmm, that's a lot of enemies here. What the heck is this? Yeah, we definitely needed to interrupt whatever was happening there. I remember those guys having a ridiculous AoE in the SNES version. So I'm glad we got through most of them. XP was decent. Difficulty a bit high. It costs us a bit of CS to do that. I'm contemplating if I want to take a fast encounter here. I probably do. I don't want to be at 81% in a boss battle. Let me see if I could get into an easy fight. Oh. Speaking of which, there's some meter over there. That's actually perfect. I don't need it to be at 100%, but... That's fine. Oh, that was a pretty non-punishing uh, roll into the fire, I have to say. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I missed the platform looking at that. I don't think I want this fight. Let's skip it. Did I jump at the other platform that was over there? I did not. Oh, it's like, I remember jumping in the middle one. Okay, we're going back for the cactus. Ouch. Oh, well. Twenty percent shop discount's actually pretty big for us. That'll help with the AI. Actually, you know what? Walking in the lava was pretty non-eventful. You would think that would be way more lethal, but four damage when I have like 400 plus health. Like, whatever. So let's top our HP off with some candies. So now I at least have 111%. We have one person with 300%. So I'll probably take control of her to use Reese's immediate ability so she can gain meter for the rest of the battle. Actually, I should have him use the candy. Do it. So yeah, the game wants us to be like level 29. We're coming in at 25. Allow me. On it. Allow me. I think we should be good. So is there anything else I need to set up? Yeah, he's still set to use some healing items. Protection is paramount. So he should hopefully heal when he's not doing stuff. On the attack is probably fine. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I'm surprised that it doesn't do more damage for sure. Stop. Come no further. Unless you want me to throw her into the flames. Ooh, throw her in the flames. No. At. There are more of you? This is not over yet. So originally Hawkeye helped out here, I think. Because we have Hawkeye, it looks like our cat buddy's here. Nicola, you saved us. How does Jessica look? Uh, 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 she's unconscious. We mustn't leave her in this weakened state for long. Jessica is cursed no more, but. She's been wearing Belladonna's Joker at death for so long. Her body and soul are both at their limits. I'll take her back to the Oasis of Deed. But you should go after Belladonna right now. She wants the Meowna Stone. You have to hurry. 
She wants the Meowna Stone chat. See so yeah, I, I will say, compared to the last session, the boss difficulty is at like 30%. Just so chat is very clear, we hit a very big difficulty spike previously. Our allies are at least doing some damage. So I think the game was built around being at the class change. Because like right now, even though I'm like four levels under, I think our damage is fine. Like now that we got the small weapon increase, that's all we really needed. Uh, so I'll start the battle off with a level 2 so she can build it up for the rest of the combat. I'll probably actually strength up her into the level 2. I don't know what it was trying to give me a hint on. Because it popped it up like one step from the barrier. Behold! This is the pure energy the mana stones hold within. I lifted the girl's curse so I might sacrifice her life to break the mana stone seal and bring us closer to the sanctuary. But you foiled that plan. Luckily, I used the souls of Bill and Ben in place of hers. Thank you for defeating them and providing me an alternative. We are one step closer to the sanctuary. All hail his dark majesty! No, she's released the energy from the stone. Now we know that Belladonna's trying to open the portal, just like the Altanans. Everyone is after the sword. Things could hardly be worse. If the sword of mana falls into evil hands, the mana tree will die. The mana power will disappear. Then the Benevadons will be released. Wigs and bigs. We cannot let that happen. We have to find the elementals and open the portal before the enemy does. We need that sword. Do you mean bigs and wedge, Calvisham? Because they're they're random Star Wars reference names. I'm assuming you mean those two. All hail his dark majesty, says Chan. Oh. I hear you. That lady royal stuff the firestone. <laughs> the accent. You, then we can all make her pay. Yeah! <laughs> She's gonna get it. <laughs> what was that voice acting? Yeah! Oh my gosh, chat. <laughs> you, you, you can't just throw a at me. I'm not expecting it. But I don't... I, I don't learn anything from this. None of this is useful. None of my characters care about this. Search for the next mana stone. Come on. Oh, I cannot wait to leave this heat. Oh, I must be thinking of the rematch. Who is switching classes? So, never mind. We don't have another oh, boss battle. You wait? That's okay. Well. Okay, leave it to me. Never mind, Chan. I forgot there was nothing here. I guess Bill counted as the boss battle. It makes sense, I guess. We will be revisiting this place later and fighting another boss here for clarity. That is not for today, it appears. This game has some dot 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 stellar voice acting. It's certainly dot 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 something. <laughs> Oh, what? That's annoying. What a bad idea to put a fight there. That is so annoying. Things that were not a problem in the original game. You know what? I'm just gonna step in the lava. I do actually have to respect the pillar, though, or else I get shoved out. I lose a lot of time. So hot. Fiery 
charge. Hmm. This should do it. So far, I've yet to see his item saver work. A little disappointing. Please. What? Why were you not letting me activate the strike there? That was weird. Unless my controller just fritzed. I was holding L button, but nothing happened. While mashing attack. Instead, I just kept attacking. It's not quite what I wanted. Bonk him real quick. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Okay, so let's leave. Watch out for the enemy. What? Oh, he hit me from behind when I wasn't looking at him. Because that was like, I did not get hit by the thing I was attacking. This place is even okay. Unfortunate. Here. This should do it. Here. This should do it. I feel like this is never triggered. I'll be real with you. Unless it's only in combat or something. Which case that's a bit disappointing. I'm gonna ignore this fight. No time. Thank you, enhanced escape. Wow, she just whipped her ability. That's so awkward. The area is clear of threats. We have earned a rest. Okay, so I used some candies up, but I'm not going to replenish them. We didn't use any chocolates, which is good. TS was always strange to me if you're going to jump up the spear while I throw it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of her animation with it for sure. Ooh, this is a lot of CS. Wait a minute, can I just do this? Hold on, chat. Let's learn something real quick. As if so, that's really dumb, if I'm allowed to do this. Let's see what happens. Wow, I could just get max CS here. That's so dumb. Well, I guess if I wanted to power level chat, I would just come here and reset it repeatedly. There's even a healing statue there. It's something. Okay. So, I am not interested in more combat, so I'm gonna avoid it. Yeah, like, to give chat an idea, as a reminder, I have yet to upgrade armor at all on any character. Seriously? That little bit of sand completely trolling me. Our Phenomenal Fist is much better than our level 2. I'm actually not a big fan of our level 2 on this character. Unless I'm fighting a boss, then I think it's fun. Hoping to hit it before it attacks. Mm. Oh, I can't go that way. That's right. I gotta go this way. Let's go around them. Did I want to do it? I guess I'll go back to Oasis for story. These enemies are not worth our time. Yeah, their, their sad little 350 XP does not interest me. Nice try, though, game. I'm going to refuse to upgrade my weapon here for Hawkeye and wait until we either get a better weapon later or use it to restock a couple items. How are we doing money-wise? I'm actually doing decent on money, surprisingly. I think picking up those random golden things helps a lot. So let's go to... She might be in the item shop. I just want to see if we can check up on Jessica specifically. I think she was down here. Yeah. Jessica's still weak, but with some rest, I'm sure she'll be good as Mew. At least the curse is lifted. Just leave Jessica to me. I know you want to keep an eye on her, but Mew needs to find Belladonna and get revenge for Eagle. I'm sure he'd give Jessica peace of mind too. Hawkeye. Oh, so, 
I don't get anything special for doing that, but we do get extra dialogue, so we'll count that as a win, I guess. I guess I just go to sleep briefly, restore stats. Oh, there's some of the candies I used recovered. So yeah, like, overall in that battle, we didn't use any elixirs. So from the standpoint of difficulty, it's definitely not as hard as the other area in terms of keeping AI alive. They're getting one shot a little less, despite having never touched armor. And I think that mostly just has to do with the fact that the enemies are not spawning red attacks as often as before. Ooh. Can't talk to you for some reason. Welcome to Din. I can't talk to the guy falling asleep there. Hmm. Okay, so let's check on the way back to see if there's anything else I can do. Like, in the middle area, because it was very weird I didn't find any chests or potentially, like, a golden shiny at minimum. So it's possible I just missed it. And I also missed a chest somewhere, so there's a fairly good chance that that has something. Yeah, I went over there, that little oasis in the corner where it's just a golden thing. So we'll check again. Could be the last treasure chest. And if we don't get it, it's not a big deal. Oh, man, the escape speed faster is definitely making me happier. That's one of the few changes where I was like, it was taking like an eternity to leave combat to the point where I have to do like mid-air tumbles. The fact that I don't need to do that at all now is very good. It's more my play style when I avoid everything. Did I look down here? I could see the cave, but I can't do anything here. Okay, so there's no- there is a shiny here. So I did not look there previously. Sadly, no treasure chest for my, uh, backtrack. I think we went this way before. Because I got the chest. So nothing there. Yeah, there, there could- I think I see a shiny down there. Oh, the, and there's another little cactus. Well, I'm glad we went back this way. So it was right, there was something here. So Inn's no longer charging money, it's kind of like getting free candies. So that's not too bad. But I did see something over here. In my defense, it is very hard to see the gold against the sand. That is like so barely visible. I didn't see another treasure chest though. Oh well. Oh my gosh, what is this movement? There we go. Dangerous. Where's where's the end of this combat? We there we go. Delay. Hmm. I didn't see anything at the base there. We went over here. We did get a shiny earlier, but there's no chest. Oh well. So I think that was pretty successful. Take that random armor I'm not purchasing. <laughs> One day, chat, maybe I will consider getting armor. Today is not that day. Yeah, I think the passive talents make the game a lot easier in terms of difficulty, comparatively. Just from the standpoint where I can basically just ignore potential one-shot abilities by gifting myself 90 HP. Like, that is a crazy amount of HP to have on that character. Because I don't think even normally he would be at 400 HP at this point. We do the math. Be sure to think it through before you switch classes. Thank you, game. So, we could go back to... I probably want to go to the snow place. Then in theory, I could go to the bloom woods after that. Judging from the name, Frostbite Field sounds cold. Oh. Are they... are they railroading me to go here? I noticed that they're not telling me to go to, uh, what's it called? The Moonlight Town, which is interesting. I mean, I'm okay with that, but... It's where I was gonna go anyway. Yeah, this is like the Shade Castle or something. 
or Dark Castle. I don't think we'll be going here on this playthrough, since uh, the final dungeon changes depending on who your main character is. Some of the bosses leading there are a bit different. So I could go to the Landflume Woods, but I feel like I need... I think to go there, I technically need the character at the tower. So I think I made the only decision now that I think about it. So that makes sense why it's... Well, I shouldn't have to do this one to go do the Moon Tower, but I don't think I could do that final one until we do the Moon Tower. So that one's always fourth. Okay. Let's disembark. Explore a little bit. I'm curious what level these enemies are going to be, if they're going to scale up or not. Or if we're suddenly going to fight, like, level 26 people. <laughs> As if so, I'm going to roll my eyes. So yeah, 20% discount is huge. So... Oh, he wants to play in the snow, chat. Well, lots of wares to browse. <laughs> Come again. Well, lots of wares to browse. Hmm. Look at a handful of candy used just to restock. Couple wishes were doing good, actually, because we found a lot. We used one, but recovered, I think, four on the way here. So we're actually positive cups of wishes, which is good. That's definitely the item I'm worried about them burning out. Candy, not so much, now that we have a lot of cash. Other chocolate... How many items are here? Oh, just one. Hmm. So we'll look for little cactus, who's inevitably here somewhere. Go west, then good to go to the labyrinth. So they told us where to go. Hmm. They're not of customers these days. Apparently they had magic that kept them warm before. He says, it's harder to react to cold climates like this. Try to stay warm. So yeah, we'll just talk to everybody that I see. Ben's dinner. Oh, Grandma, she just had her dinner, but she forgot already. How many dinners does one person need? Oof. Hey, Mommy, come here. My child is an only child, so I could be a bit overprotective. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't help but spoil her. Oh, there's no items to steal? Come on, child. Like, right, child? Like, why can't I rob the little girl? You know how much funnier that is? I was really worried I was gonna go, like, out of bounds when I did that tumble. I'm not gonna lie. When I did that. But the suction is real. <laughs> It'd be like East when I clip through buildings for no reason and hurt myself. Oh, there's little cactus. No pig banks here. That's true, Calvisho. So we're almost at our big discount. It might be worth not purchasing anything other than the candies. Because the worst I'm like, oh no, I lost eight cash by getting the candies early. Like, I don't really care about that. But weapons would make a difference. I like Thanos. I Thanos snapped the children from existence. Damn. Rip children, I guess. Their time had come. Yeah, so if I really want Hawkeye's weapon, I could wait and get another 290 in sales, or I could just wait until yet another area to actually get his upgrades. Which I'm more tempted to do at this point. So I think we found everything. There could be, like, a couple of golden things here and there. Oops, speaking of which, there could be a couple of golden things here and there, but they're not super vital. I do like that it gives me more incentive to explore than the SNES version. That was definitely one of my biggest complaints about the original, is that there was, like, no incentive to explore at all, because there were literally basically zero treasure chests in the overworld. There are some dungeons that had nothing. So, at least finding the golden shinies is not bad, but having, like, actual dedicated treasure chests that also sometimes give gear is appreciated. Well, that was easy. So, 
So we're only one away now. And we haven't even reached the Labyrinth of Ice. So it's very likely we are going to get it before we are done with the boss. Oh, that looks like I should be able to climb that. But it's ease. There we go. I just wanted to uppercut the last wizard. That's basically just a free kill. Sorry, Poto. The area is clear of threats. We have earned a rest. Do we have choices here? West, I think, is the intended destination, so south might be treasure, perhaps? Another couple wishes. This is good. So I feel like I'm at the point where now enemy money is making the game easier. Where before we were getting maybe half of that. Like a dungeon prior to the session. Like the ghost ship money was fine. But it has since scaled quite dramatically in between. There we go. Yeah, so they're only 25. So I definitely went to the harder area first. So rip rip those enemies, chat, because we are way over level for this area now. The fact I'm actually matching their level to me is hilarious. So yeah, we were definitely intended to come here first. Welcome, raiders. Thank you, Chrysogrim, for resubscribing. Hopefully you're doing well. Don't mind me, just casually murdering everything in front of me. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to waste a cookie then on this fight, given that it's weaker. Anklist is another mana game. Gen PCs get companions get stuck everywhere here too. Uh, they're mostly fine. They'll teleport if they get stuck, and I don't get locked into place. So this is a remake of the uh, SNES version. We played the uh, A version of that SNES version on Collection of Mana earlier. Now we're trying the remake. Oh, this is the first time we've gotten a defensive item for the character. Nice. Hopefully you're all doing well today. And what was Chris Grimm streaming today? Allow me. Okay, leave it to me. <laughs> Why didn't he activate his ability? That was rude. I wanted to do this one. Rude. <laughs> Rude of the game to not activate that. See, it's generally a much easier game. There's still some weird difficulty spikes, but I'm basically playing it the same way I did the SNES one, where we basically don't do like a ton of ton of combat. If I happen to see a group of enemies that might be worth it, I'll kill them. But overall, we're usually somewhere between three to four levels under leveled. But unfortunately, apparently, I did the areas out of order, so we went to an easier area instead of a harder one. I can make a difference. Okay, so I can save a fight to full heal one of my companions. So I think at this point, I do not want to take a fight. There's another little cactus. I think I have to take this fight because they're guarding him. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Dodge the jump attack. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna let me talk to him while he's here. So I believe that should be enough to get an upgrade, right? Indeed it is. Nice. We got a 20% discount on shocks. So I have how many cookies? Three. I mean, there's a lot of bosses left in the game, so the longer I hold them, the better they are. I definitely do not want to use them on a weaker fight. I can avoid it. Um, how likely is it for me to grab that item without being in an encounter again? I don't think super likely. Hmm. Let's do this. 
I mean, that was just a massacre. See, that would have been... See, well, hold on, hold on, chat, hold on. So that fight right there was worth more XP than the Fiery Gorge? Why? Lizardon is the Japanese name of the Pokemon Charizard. Uh, like, you saw that, right? Like, 568 is greater than 360. I swear. <laughs> so XP's still a little weird. Like, these enemies are way easier to kill. The other enemies were higher level. Meanwhile, these guys just explode. Like, even that fight right there was worth more than most of the other fights we were at earlier. Which is a very weird decision for them to make. Um... I prefer not to grind anymore, though. Can I avoid this encounter? Yes. How did I not trigger an encounter there? Okay, that's fine. I don't care if I get injured here, I just want the fight to end quickly. Plus there's a healing pot right here. Uh, I do want the golden shinies just to get them off the map. So we found two cacti. I doubt there's a third one here, but let's keep exploring for items. Let's go this way to try to dodge the encounter. Don't need that fight. We still need two treasure chests if I want to get all of them. See one over there. So what's this? Just not allowed to go here yet. Okay. Item seed is fine. Let's see if there's anything on this side before I get that treasure chest. I don't see anything. I like the little Christmas lights in the trees. <laughs> yeah, Chad loves the dialogue delaying whenever I open chests. We have improved! Greatly! <laughs> got, got a way for me to kick open the item box. Uh, so let's not take any more fights. We're, we're leveled enough. We, we basically we met their level after we went to an area that's much easier. I think the game potentially wants me to be like level 38 or something. I wonder why it was telling me about leveling up class-wise. I'm not even sure it's possible to not be level 18 by this point in the game. Like, even if we had skipped all encounters, I don't think it would have been possible. Just through raw boss experience. Oh. I was hoping that would kill him. It did not. Or we may free. Let's use his ability to heal. Actually, no, no, no. Gold statue, gold statue. Let's not do that. Let's be smart. So I basically just need to build CS. You're wide open. Along the bottom there. Welcome, Fido Sido. Thank you for the follow. Hopefully you are doing well and having a good time. Hey! Dark Knight from before! He hurt Silphid! Cease your toil. The mana stones will be activated and the portal to the Sanctuary of Mana will be opened. No matter what. The Mana Sword will belong to the Dragon Lord. Ah, uh, this fight. Probably for the best that I leveled. Wow, our ally died immediately. Wow.
Well, I guess we're in hard mode. Wow, they petrify? That's annoying. Well, chat, I stand alone as usual. I mean, they just need to get good. Can we just agree, chat? Like, if they were just better, I wouldn't be- I wouldn't be struggling like this. Thankfully, I at least have better equipment. Oh, I dodged into the attack. I was not good enough. Wait, did I heal and then not get healed? What happened there? Uh, what? What? Why am I not healing when I heal? Hello? Was I healing the other guy? Or something stupid? That was weird. What a waste of candies. It's not like I canceled this heal. I heard it go off. I mean, I guess I could revive them just to get some DPS. Oh, I'm gonna take damage from that, thanks. It is letting me get more attacks in, if nothing else. Can I... Uh, let's see if this works. I will pity heal our allies. Wow, of course she dies instantly. You know what? I'm not reviving her. What a waste. I'm only really taking damage because I'm trying to get our allies to do something. It's so sad how much I have to struggle just to do damage in this fight. Oh, he actually revived the teammate for me. That's useful. Please don't kill my other character while I'm not playing him. I got tagged there. That's unfortunate. So anyway, chat, if you had any questions whether or not the allies are not good in this game, I hope that answered your question. I took a lot of damage reviving them, which is so unfortunate. It's not a hard fight. I just wish they did better. Uh, why did it switch targets? That was so awkward. Can you? Oh, I was gonna say, can we remove the lock on? Thank you. Oh, I got it stunned finally. You know, me, me and myself just, just comboing with myself here. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna do that to invincibility through. I don't care if I'm not there or not. Oh, I got tagged. How unfortunate. I think I hit the edge of the arena there. I couldn't quite see due to the camera angle, which is unfortunate.
Wow, Chad, that's when they're the right level for the boss and they died instantly. I'm not I'm not impressed by the AI, but they do okay in normal fights, I guess. Nina Stone is nearby. I can feel the elemental's presence. Let's hurry. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Like as soon as the as soon as the game spams a lot of like the very easy to dodge red line attacks, it's like I have to make a decision as a player. Do I take damage trying to keep our allies alive? Because let's be let's be real, they're not surviving those attacks. And then kind of the flip side is like, you know, like I really can't babysit them that whole time. I, or at least if, I, if I'm expected to, it is absolutely not happening in the playthrough. And that was just dumb. Like they just, even though they were healing themselves a little bit, they were just taking so much raw damage that it didn't matter. Rip the team, I guess. Well, at least we're in Labyrinth of Ice. So if there's another boss beyond this point, maybe, maybe I will go and use a cookie to buff XP. But I think I'd rather save it for a little later. Yeah, like I, I only got hit, I think, three times that fight and two of them were directly related to me healing the allies. Like, had I not done that, I probably would have had a near flawless victory. I only got clipped in the corner once. Like I dodged, but I, I didn't realize I couldn't go further. Once the necessary qualifications are met, you can use a monostone. Yeah, whatever. Why are the monsters in the game so cute? Well, unfortunately, they're gonna get massacred. Off energy. But we can wait for that night to activate all the stones. Then the portal will open without us finding elementals, right? can't let them release the mana energy like this. It drains it from the world faster. Even if it opens the portal, it'll permanently wither the mana tree. The more energy that's released, the more it'll weaken the mana power everywhere. If this continues, it might even weaken the seals on the Benevodons. The seals could reach their breaking point. We must find the elementals before the forces of evil release all the mana energy. Then we can open the portal and secure the sword. Please understand. Oh, got it. My mistake. I just want you to know how dire the situation is. But we can do this. Hello, Undine. You're crying. Are you hurt? No, no. You're on such a noble quest. I was just so moved. Do pardon me. With mana getting weaker, I've been so quick to tears lately. Have no fear. I will gladly lend my power to your cause. Happy to make all of your acquaintances. There we go, chat. We got more powers that I can't use. Because <laughs> none of this is relevant to us. Fire and water found. Uh, where do we go next? Unless it retroactively added an ability in for this character. Let's see, did it? No. We still have defenseless and feeble and weaken. Although I think originally maybe it unlocked once we got the other one. So here's also the downside chat with the AI. I never want them to use magic defense down or decrease attack, but I don't seem to have a lot of control over them doing it if I just tell them to attack normally. We should try Dustman Forest. It's southeast of Valsena. I hear beastmen live there, so stay on your guard. So there is a chest here. Wish is attained. Oh, almost missed you. Well, if I didn't have it before, Cha. So it feels like we're 
probably have all of them or near all of them. So we're doing good with the cactus. But yeah, I I'm kind of curious, like, if, if I decide... I want to play as the other characters. How would it feel to play with like more mages and stuff? Because we have not really done a playthrough that's required a lot of magic damage. Because we haven't used Angela. So if I decide I want to do another playthrough, I'd probably make Angela the main hero. We could potentially bring in Durin and potentially also Charlotte if chat really wants it. Or we can avoid Charlotte and pick another chat favorite. Just to showcase more characters. Yeah, I think people complaining about the voice way, way, way over exaggerated. She talks exactly like the dialogue is exactly the same as the SNES or as the collection of mono version that we saw earlier. Okay, we'll take this item for free. So I did get all chests, so I'll just leave at this point. We don't need to fight anything. We'll leave the monsters alone, because I know chat loves them. I love their dialogue gets interrupted by my own escaping. The game is just like so excited to do battle. It expects me to really grind, and I'm like, no. We did everything we came for. We're leaving now. Goodbye. Could beat these up for some meter. Yeah, I'll beat you up some I'll beat you up for some meter. As long as our AI doesn't burn any meter, this'll be good. Because now I have enough to super. Okay. Let's avoid these encounters. Yeah, so now if I need to, I have an emergency super equivalency because I'm at 119% meter. And the one that I want to use in general encounters only costs 100% anyway out of 300% total. So that'll save me from some hassle later. The game is trying to teach me about combos. And I'm like, listen. I'm good. So I still have a lot of strength ups. I could, in theory, defense up on a boss fight if I really wanted to, but I don't think it's necessary. As long as we don't fight multiple bosses at once, I think for the most part I should be able to reapply my own buffs consistently. And I think due to our ally just dying instantly, the debuff magic was not useful in that fight. Like, it would have been great. Take us to Duskmoon Forest. Uh, please? There may be powerful beastmen that stand against us. So be prepared. Like, it would have been nice if she had stayed alive to debuff, but, like, she literally just got hit over and over and over until she died. Like, no no exaggeration. Like, she just got absolutely bodied. So I'm hoping that things will improve a little bit. I at least know this next fight is pretty hard in the SNES. It's potentially a lot of one-shot nonsense. I'm curious if one-shot nonsense is here. Because this was the other big difficulty spike of the game for me when we played earlier. So we're now in the moonlight town of Mintus. Chat loving Vuskov, our Kappa friend. That we ride on. I was worried when we heard beastmen lived here, but they aren't. <laughs> just cut her off. I just want to see how many treasure chests there are, too. Okay. Some hate humans. Not all beast guards give beast men a bad name. Not right. Oh my! Look! Look at that invisible platform, chat. Where? Where? Where is the hitbox on this one? Holy! I didn't realize we mastered the power of levitation. What is this? I am not even remotely touching the thing that's in front of me. That is quite something. What is that? I feel like I could clip out of bounds there with that box. I should probably not try to do it too too much there. It is a magical hitbox. 
Okay, we're in a hoarder home. Uh, so he's saying he believes one day beastmen and humans can live together, and our party is proof of it. So it acknowledges that we have a beastman. There's a treasure chest. So we're looking for Little Cactus, who's here at s inevitably somewhere in this town. So we'll continue to look around. Oh, hello. Our town is peaceful. We refuse to fight. Some Maltinus mages came a little while ago. When they realized we wouldn't attack, they left the forest. What were mages from Altina doing here in the first place? Are they at war with Ferolia? Very subtly named kingdom, by the way. Oh, that man! My husband ran off to join the King of Ferolia's cause. Why is he so quick to take up arms? When will Daddy be back? Never. We're gonna go kill Daddy. <laughs> right, chat? We'll go find him. <laughs> we'll put him down. Let's see. Oh. oh, I didn't even see the little cactus. I saw the prompt first. That's kind of funny. More items available. And resetting training points half off the night market. Okay. That addresses my other major complaint, where it felt like a complete ripoff to exchange. So at least they acknowledge that it is overpriced. The spending 1600 right now does not matter. Uh, I'm here a little early, but I guess I could plant some seeds. A couple wishes regained. Good, because we used a couple of those. Again, that's the item I'm most worried about not recovering. So let's see if we get anything good for the gold seed. Magic elixir. I guess the other question is, chat, do we bother new game plusing or just start a new file over? That was the other thing I wanted to ask the chat. No, my night vision isn't half bad. Even if you need someone to lead the way. Because I think in theory, I could hold over my elixirs for other party members. If I don't use them. All of us in this town are beast folk. We have no ill will towards humans. Did not join the king's court. Said we live here in peace. Hmm. There's the last chest. I kicked that chest from so far away, chat. That is beyond generous. So if there's a weapon upgrade here, I want it. Well, lots of wares to browse. Ooh, big weapon upgrade. Glad we waited. Oh, good choice. Looks useful. This is useful. <laughs> I'm half tempted to buy the AI armor so they don't die, but at the same time, it's fun. Leave the night stretch as far into the forest. It must be hard to keep track of time here. <gasps> oh, I can't talk to these two. Well, I guess I will save. Hawk has enough HP that he might be able to survive. Welcome. The absolute nonsense of Ludgar, maybe. So he did mostly outsurvive the other boss. Reese has no chance of survival, which is kind of funny because she apparently has more HP than me now. I forgot how uh, glass candidy Kevin was. Which to me is hilarious, because I'm playing as like technically the most frail character, but I outlived the AI by like five to six times in total time spent in boss battles. Dusk Moon Forest. is here in the forest careful i don't think the beastmen here like humans hmm there are three treasure chests i apparently got one already cool oh right from the intro of the game right 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 forgot about that it's been a while i was like how were we here before we should work together to defeat this threat! Watch your 
Oh, I took that damage. Did not want to do that. Okay, that was good XP. So this fight was definitely much easier because we had stronger weapons. So yeah, just... Oh, I see a little cactus. Can I get here early? Through unintended platforms. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Sequence break. Don't mind me, chat. I don't have to go the intended way. Wave your finger, chat. Don't tell me, don't tell me which way is the one-way game. I'm climbing up here. Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? Yeah, see, it wanted us to climb this little stick and everything else. No, thank you. I'll do what I want. We should work together to defeat this threat. Took some damage there. So I'm not quite doing enough to stun them fast enough, which is unfortunate. I'm not sure if I like fighting in perpetual twilight. I like how he's complaining about Twilight. It's literally where we're the most powerful with this team. We'll tell our idiot companion to shut up. This should do it. Um. Well, let us work together to defeat the enemy. I see a chest that I want. There we go. Finally knocked him down. Rebuilt my CS, so feeling pretty good. So lots of attainable items here. Brace yourselves. Okay, that enemy we could knock down before he could do too much, so that's good. So lots of CS built up for a harder fight. So we're still four levels under level. I might try to get a level before the boss fight. That's about it. I think the chest was here, right? Yeah. Thank you for the good job. Okay, so we still have two more chests potentially to capture. I wonder if it's... Nah, it's probably not worth it. I see a chest over there. Guess we should go there. That was actually a perfect CS from our partner there, surprisingly. That did exactly what it needed to do there. Surprisingly well-used class strike chat. Two cups of wishes. Well, that's really huge. How many up am I up to now, actually? Back up to 39. Okay, we're a couple wishes positive again. I'm sure we'll be using quite a few of them in the upcoming boss fight, which I would like to cookie, given that this will be a difficulty jump. And then I think the fight after this will cookie again. I think the faster I can hit level 38, the better. But I don't think it was worth using on the other boss fights. Nice. Got a nice little two for one there. Oh, he punched instead of doing a charge attack. That's unfortunate. That damaged me. Oh well. Oh, you actually survived. Impressive. Now perish. So potentially one more fight could level me. There's a statue over there, which I probably want to take advantage of. And then we'll explore the rest of the area. So yeah, potentially having 450 plus health might be a threshold to survive a boss, maybe? Question mark? So we missed one treasure chest, but we know there's an area over there we never visited. So let's go explore over there real quick. We'll try to go up one level. And then we'll we'll be satisfied with being like two or three levels under level. Okay, 
Alright, so I built up a ton of CS, so I'm still good for a boss battle. So I need one more level to level other team members, and that's fun. There's like a little path over here. GG did these enemies. So I don't quite have enough meter, but my allies are at max. That might be good enough. Well, that's a lot of XP. So sadly did not hit 450 HP. Oh well, I tried. Hmm. I don't see where the other chests would have been though. Oh, never mind. Oh, we we actually got a defense item for the protagonist. Oh my gosh, chat, I'm not at base armor. Chat, round of applause. What a pickup right before the boss. What a pickup. We have literally not bought armor, I think, the whole game. I've picked up armor pieces from random areas. If I did purchase something, it was from the first store of the game, and we have not touched it since. Uh, I probably want to build some meter here. Alright, so she did burn a little meter, but I think my meter is more important. Alright, so we got another chocolate out of that. So I guess I'm ready for a boss. So we have one ally that can sometimes heal. I mean... Maybe I could tell her that it's okay to heal. Maybe... I just hope she doesn't use, like, the strength up items. If she burns, like, the strength up items in casual fights, that would actually really irritate me. I'm still at 17, so I think the answer is no. Let's spare cash. Our money total is looking pretty good. But we know there's going to be several upgrade tiers pretty much as soon as we're done with this. So we do need a lot of money for those weapons. And then maybe I'll purchase armor for, at the final part of the game. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Chart Moon Tower. Hmm. So this was a pretty difficult fight in the original in terms of keeping allies alive. He, his raw combo damage was pretty high and he had the equivalency of uh, class strikes for punishments. So he just did insane damage, potentially, to us. I could technically level up stamina if I really wanted to before the fight. But I really don't want to spend money to restat the character. Oops, I keep forgetting what button does what. My bad. I do this. Yeah, this is the button that I want. Yeah, so we have attack recoil, broken lines, could be interesting. Victory heal is more important for our allies than me. 10% chance of decreasing of damage from opponent by 50%. Eh, it's fine. We'll, we'll be fine. We don't need stamina level ups like the other game. Oh, I wanted to try to walk around the cutscene. I got denied. No chance of defeating me! <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. <sighs> oh, don't bother with those pesky Altanans. I'll take care of this mess. Ludger, please do return to the palace. I don't understand the spiky hair on his elbows. Yum, yum. What a veritable feast of souls for me today. <laughs> oh, delicious, delicious. I'd love to gobble them both up, but I suppose I must send one off to the masked mage. Our stores have run low, after all. 
We need many more souls to perform the forbidden magic if we intend to open the portal to the Sanctuary of Mana. <laughs> Can't let my master know that I'm taking my own share of the spoils. <laughs> Oh, you know what I just realized? I should probably go back to the other place just to see if Little Cactus is down there. Oh, if it isn't the no good prince of Herolia. Have you returned home so soon? It's even though we were there earlier. You lied! Said I could bring Carl back to life! It's possible he could be at the other kingdom gates. Oh, you are the one who fell for the falsehood. Such an innocent soul. You must taste sublime. Oh, I'm so glad I turned that wolf pup Carl against you. Can't move. Where's the rest of our party? <laughs> You'll be my midnight snack. Shall I finish you off? Just like your friend Carl. <laughs> ha. Finish you off in one go. Stop! <laughs> I'm glad they were just waiting around. Have you no manners? Can you not see you're interrupting my meal? Wait! I'll take care of them. I thought I saw that half-beast man traitor Kevin in the forest. I am not letting him get away from me! <laughs> Lovely! Be my guest. Oh, he's got a unique... Color now, he doesn't look like the other beastman in the woods like the other time. Such an honorable beastman! Why help the villains? King's orders are more uh, important. He hit me while backwards. What was that? Him, please. Let's increase decrease his attack power. Or time. Not a week. Yeah, that was probably my fault for getting her hit. But in the meantime, let's lower his defense. Half human traitor to his brethren like you! Oh, I wasn't expecting him to home that hard on me. Oh, that did big damage. Did you enfeeble me? What a jerk. Is there something wrong with the quick buff? Why didn't that work? Or can I not get rid of that, apparently? I guess I can't get rid of it. That was rude. And she got one shot to no one's surprise. Oops. Oh. 
nicely heal me. Oh, I thought I tar- oh, I guess I untargeted him. No, I did target him, it just whiffed. Thanks, targeting, I guess. Why is it not targeting him when I'm targeting him? Him, please. Okay, he is way easier than the other game. Holy. I forgot to use Cookie. That was my bad. But he was way easier. Wow. What what a difficulty down, I'm not gonna lie. Just you wait. Remember Luger? Remember when he Super Saiyan burst and killed half the team? Remember that, chat? He got nerfed hard in this game. Prince and specially trained in hand to hand combat by the king himself since you were young. Luker? I wanted the king to teach me what he taught you so badly. I, I loathed you and your good fortune. In the end, I was just another beast guard. Nothing more, no matter how hard I wished. Mm. But you, you hated fighting. All that talent wasted. I, I couldn't forgive that. You had everything I wanted and you didn't even care. I wasn't gonna lose to such a worthless prince. And yet... Luger, you are strong. Strong enough to be king. The same as me. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Just keep getting stronger. Maybe in my next life, I'll be able to defeat you. <laughs> Don't you dare lose before then. Luger! I I think he was actually the easiest boss fight out of the bosses so far this session. That was kind of embarrassing. I feel bad. Oh, oh that's a Luna, the elemental of the moon, right? That's a design. Yes. I've been waiting for your arrival. I will grant you my power. It... Is it supposed to look like she has a pacifier? What is going on with this image? Retain the powers from Luna. Help, Ludger! Please, help! I'm afraid all I can do is grant his final wish. I'm sorry. <laughs> the only way to save him is to give him another chance in his next life. He will now be reincarnated. Oh, oh, she has a southern accent? Why? The baby is Luger? Oh my gosh, it's Terranigma all over again, chat. He'll grow big and strong, and one day. Come to challenge you again. <laughs> okay. Baby Ludger. I'll wait. Challenge me anytime. Truly the story of all stories, chat. <laughs> the mighty Ludger Baba Gurgles. Um, is he going to be okay in the forest all alone? He's just a baby. Oh, babies are raised in the wild. The forest creatures take care of them. 
uh, until they are grown. Don't worry. He, he is safe. It is the Beast Man way. Incredible. Where is the Mana Stone, Luna? The Moonstone is on the first floor of this tower. Mages from Altaina came to try and activate its power, but Ludger and his guards managed to protect it. Then it's still inactive! Hmm. But that weirdo Goromon from before is in the tower now. We should go after him. Just in case. He's on his own. I mean, he wasn't a very endearing character. <laughs> I've been like, uh, whatever, <laughs> right, chat? Luger's aspirations have granted you a new ability. Damage to the boss monsters increased by 10%. Now, that is a good ability. Yeah, I'm not sure, for example, if... I mean, we'll have to test later. It's possible there are things I can only get as some party members. So, like, maybe this whole Ludger thing is specific to our character. So if we wanted to take advantage of that in the future, we'd have to New Game Plus. But for now, we'll enjoy this. Honestly, Conflagration has not come up as often as I was hoping. Let's make this just boss monster damage for now. I'll just take the immediate damage bonus. So there's four treasure chests here, but we also know that later on it'll be a full-fledged dungeon. Hmm. It's so strange to see the moonstone just sitting here in the middle of a tower. I'm pretty sure this stone is the reason why it's always night in the surrounding forest. Whoa. Mana stone. So powerful. Wait. Where is the Goromon man? <laughs> oh, that man was pure evil. I felt it. But I don't feel anything right now. He must have left. The Gormon man chap. Tell if he was still nearby. <sighs> Probably went back to the king. But now I know for sure. Gormon does not answer to my father. He's only using Ferolia. Has another goal. I am sure of it. Has another goal. Gormon I just heard him tell me it one cutscene ago. So do Altena and Belladonna from Navarre. Won't let them have it. We can't. Hmm. We still have to look for Dryad, the Wood Elemental. The Hero King suggested we ask the Elfin Elder. So we should go to the Hidden Elf Kingdom of Dior. It's in Lamp Bloom Woods. Oh, there's the little cactus. I was looking for chests, but we'll take this. Well, we almost got an upgrade at the night market. That was definitely one of my biggest complaints about the SNES, where, like, the initial abilities in the night market are actually really good. It's just that they never upgrade. So there's just a point where you're hoping for better stuff, and it just never really comes. So hopefully this will allow me to get, like, Moon Saber, uh, Lunar abilities, etc. on demand, so that way I can hit weaknesses. So, for example, I think if I did, um, you know, kind of counters to Dryad, then maybe I could do more damage on the upcoming bosses. I don't know if those bosses had weaknesses to take an elemental exploit from, but the strength up is good for now. But at some point, I would like to actually take advantage of Sabers. Most of these bosses are pretty easy, though, so I don't feel like I'm missing out too much here. Ludgar got absolutely wrecked, though. So, so far, hardest boss of the night, no contest for AI, were the golems. 
Uh, they, the Bill and Ted, or Bill, not Bill and Ted, well, maybe that's what they were called. But anyway, the, the Bill combo was pretty easy as well. I think our AI did mostly fine at getting through them. The ghost was also on the easier end. I don't know if I would rate them above or below the ninja bear. I'm mostly just looking to see if there's a uh, little cactus here somewhere. Could be near the town itself. Yeah, so far not seeing them randomly around here. Almost at the next area. Nice and simple battle. Oh, there's a little cactus. Okay, so it wasn't a waste of time coming over here. We just upgraded the night market in case I want to go back. Right now, I don't feel an urge to. I think we should be fine. Maybe when we're done with the next thing, which will be next session, we'll go back. Okay. So, can't go back in the kingdom. But we did find a little cactus, so that was worth it. Enemies in the cavern are so cute, then there's the awful cactus. Blame Legend of Mana for that. We'll be playing that next. I did have a lot of fun with the combat. It's on the simple side, but there's enough to it where I have a lot of fun with it. With uh, combinations of light and heavy attacks. I actually think the combat of that game is a lot more complex than this one. Even though they did try to update the combat for this game. Since we'll be combining uh, two action buttons, essentially, to create new moves. So, for example, um, we have things like crouch and jump, and if I crouch jump, I could get high jump. And if I learn that ability by keeping it in our slots long enough, high jump can be mixed with like jump and back dash to become like backflip. Then I could get like high backflip and stuff like that. So it slowly becomes like a combination of learning new abilities to unlock new special moves, which are kind of like last strikes, I guess, in a way in this game. But I like the ability to potentially do things like grappling, so I could do like a long chain, and instead of ending with a knockdown, I grapple to reset them. And unlike the uh, SNES versions of uh, the Mana series, spells are finally dodgeable for the first time in that game. So it feels, I think combat wise, it'll mostly hold up. Oh, oops, I don't need to go back here. I'm on the fence whether I want to play the uh, Steam version or not. The reason being is that there are a lot of Easter eggs that I don't think exist anymore in the Steam version. So I'd rather show off the PS1 version that has all of them. So for example, if I have Final Fantasy VIII saved in a memory card when I go to play the game, I can get a Chocobo instead of a Rabbite as the first monster companion. And you heard that right, chat. You party with monsters. And then things like, if I have Saga Frontier 2 in, I can get additional uh, dungeons unlocked. Or dungeon boss, excuse me. So yeah, I might play the PS1 version just because it has more of that kind of stuff. I think the Steam version still has co-op. That game has like a really awkward co-op system. It's not perfect because most of the time you have like story characters in your party versus like characters like this so they'll like swap in and out over time so some of them are really good some are really terrible and you don't really have control over your companions gear since the intent is they'll, they'll leave the party so they don't really want you upgrading them so they could be a little awkward in co-op it's still a nice game but definitely has its limitations Yeah, there are certain characters that just feel like way better than others, and there's some that are like, they all they can do is literally defend and run away. Those characters are horrible to play as, as you would imagine. Waste of time to play as them. But 
Yeah, it also kind of moves away from like really heavy item usage. Like this game still has like a lot of item usage compared to the SNES and the Secret of Mana game, for example. But in Legend of Mana, we're basically never going to pause the combat ever. Head to Lamp Loom Woods. With all eight elementals found, I can finally get that sword and save Jessica. Come on. One last elemental to go. We'll let them talk a little bit there. So I definitely look forward to that one. It's kind of like, I guess the word is like episodic. There's kind of like a lot of storylines going on in parallel in that game. So I'll do my best to 100% it. It's notoriously very difficult to 100% since there are events that can potentially be canceled. And that will lead you to not being able to complete some of them. But we'll see. immediately finding a chest. Now the question is, did I come here at night? Remember that really garbage mechanic where I have to go like right down left to go back to the village? I'm curious if that's also here. They probably included it. These plants are dusk moon vine. My powers can unseal the path. So yeah, I, I think, for example, in the Steam version, uh, it is possible to recruit another playable character because you can have more than one save file. So you could bring that other character for... Oh no, Charlotte's here. So we could bring that character in as like a secondary player. So technically, <laughs> you could duplicate your save file whenever you want to co-op with somebody and then you have two of potentially the same character playing together. But oh boy, chat. Some of you will be tilted. Prepare for the voice. Charlotte? Why are you here? Hello! Long time no see. I'm looking for Dior so I can help my grandpa. He's sick. After you heart with me, wept me at the temple. I made it through countless hardships and finally reached these woods. Oh, uh, sorry. As long as you're solid. It wasn't an easy twip, you know. Especially the cannon part. Oh, you took a boat to Maya, then took Bon Voyage's cannon. Uh, I guess. Basically. But forget about that. Um, what are you all hanging? Looking for Dior. It's the elf village. Ha ha. You'll probably never find it. After all, you don't know the secret trick my grandpa taught me. Too bad for you. Huh? The secret? Ha ha. I'm not telling. There we go, chat. Yeah, I'm thinking if we end up playing with Duran, changing the topic slightly. I think from the standpoint of characters, if we did pick Duran, for example, we would probably go his light path just to mix up the gameplay a little bit. Because we went dualist in the SNES version. But for Angela, I'm not really sure what to do. I guess I could let chat decide, because I honestly have never used her. In any version. More well, I very briefly touched her to see what she did in the SNES, but I did not get far enough to get spells. So I'm thinking if Durin's there, he could end up being like a tanky kind of character. And if Chad has another favorite character, we could bring them in. Or we could bring in Charlotte. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Nice, I hit both. That's exactly what I wanted. Goodbye, cutesy creature. I hate to 
strike on such weak targets. That is a lot of XP. Even though they did take a while, that XP was actually really good. It looked like base 800 for three enemies. That's pretty good. So yeah, so if Chad has a favorite character, by all means. But I think that'll show up all the characters. Oh. What? Really? That hit me? The tail end? That sucks. Ooh, I took a lot of damage there. Unfortunate. I must have just barely walked into the Sleep Flower radius. That was unfortunate. Goodbye, easy to kill enemy. That was the last of them. I kind of wish he didn't heal me there. That's unfortunate. I think he did waste an item there. So yeah, I'll let chat decide. Hmm. So we're in Lampbloom Forest. Oh, a cutscene. She just got wrecked. Ooh, that was a good finisher. That was a great class strike. Now they tell us how to get through? Wow. I don't want to deal with monsters, so I'll follow you after you clear a path. Thanks in advance. Remember in the SNES version where they didn't tell you squat if we just had to wait and come back at night for something to happen? Remember that, chat? I'm glad they fixed that, because that was just BS. I don't know what they were thinking in the SNES version. They should have at least made it automatically night here or something. So that way you didn't have to come back specifically during the day. That was just insanely stupid. Oops, I didn't realize he was still attacking. Ooh, Spikes actually did good damage there. So I did get my level up exactly when I wanted it to heal. Strong feelings, says the chat. Something like that. Any elixirs? How are we doing in terms of items? 86 candies? Okay. So we're still mostly neutral with candy, surprisingly. Is it even possible to go the wrong way in this game? Won't let us go this way. We should work together to defeat this threat. No time. How about no? These huge lamp blooms are extraordinary. Shall we search these woods for the Elfin Kingdom? These woods are anything but ordinary. Don't let your guards. <laughs> oh, I didn't have enough. I thought I had it for the CS. Looked at the wrong character. I didn't deserve to get hit if I got hit there. Nice double combo. I don't know where our allies are doing, but that's fine. More item seeds, okay. 1400 money, not bad. It's like four encounters worth of cash. Well, three, I guess. Oh, he's wiggling out, chat. Look at the wiggle. He's doing his intimidation chat tactics on me. I think I'll, I think I'll let him live. His wiggle is too intense. To no time. Okay, 
Okay, so this should be the last treasure chest. I haven't seen the cactus anywhere, which is a bit concerning. There's this also a pretty big place. Oh my gosh, Chad. I love... I love the fact that they are so convinced that you cannot solve this puzzle that they literally put the star where you need to go. Chat. Why even bother including that dialogue if you're just literally going to tell me to go the right way? What happens if I go the wrong way? Oh, we're in Woods 2. I mean, it might be worth getting lost just to get more items, to be honest with you. Yeah, I want to explore more this way. Chan wants to see Charlotte. I mean, I'm okay with Charlotte. We went dark with her last time. We could go light. Although, would that make sense to go double light with those characters? Because, I mean, Duran would be light. She would be light. Unless I make her a different dark class. Because... Oh, wait. If he's going light, I don't think he gets... Or does he still get Saber? Oh, we'll find out. <clears throat> I do need to get strength up potentially from somebody. Gotta get this nuisance out of the way before we kill time. I'll have to think about it. Does this lead to a new area at all? No. It's just the flip of that one. Okay. I was just curious if there's items there. No time for this. So yeah, we'll we'll discuss, I think. Okay, now it's making me do a puzzle. Okay, that's a bit more fair, I suppose. I think it was still roughly the same directions. I'm not a big fan of Charlotte as a character. Or like in combat. She's she seems very weak, and I don't really care for healers. So I'm a little worried about double dipping with Durin that way. That's why I thought she was fine on the SNES when we did it that way. I I am not big on self-preservation when I play these games. Her headstones here. We'll learn about these in a moment. If she had, like, a holy spell earlier, I probably would have been fine with her. But she takes a really long time to contribute anything in boss battles. Even her group heal is going to be kind of late when we go to play. So I did make it to Dior. Hmm. Let me go back a step just to make sure I didn't miss them. Yeah, I guess if I had to play, it'd probably be like Durin, Kevin, maybe Reese. Because that way it would have sabers and sat downs. Oh, okay, there is Little Cactus. It just felt odd to me we went through that whole place and didn't find him. There we go. Instinct is working. Yeah, because sadly, we're so far where the hard fights were, at the same time, I wouldn't have had class change. So she won't help me, for example, with the, the ninjas or the door. She can heal a little bit, I guess, to conserve item or item usage. But that doesn't solve the problem where, like, if I don't have a character that legitimately knows, like, strength up or a debuff, I'm worried that I'm going to fall really far behind in damage. So, like, Angela's probably fine on her own. I can pump up her magic, maybe, with consumables. And I can maybe use Strength Up on Durin manually. I'll get Sabers from one of those two characters. We'll see where it goes from there. Because the game does seem to really punish you if you decide to stack a lot of buffs. But you don't have, like, debuffs, for example. And unfortunately, I think just the, the time it took for Charlotte to get to her next class level... She just never, ever, ever got her debuffs. Because I, I think, for example, she has, like, the, the Grim Curse ability in the SNES version. But we literally never unlocked it before beating the game. So it's like, 
I'm more likely to hit 38 in this game compared to the other one. So some of those downsides I think are less pronounced. So if we do play her, hopefully I can take advantage of her dark side stuff. Hmm. Because we're, we're much higher level than we were before. I don't think I was 30 at this point. I might have been like 30 after this dungeon, but I think just overall from like the random double XPs, we've kind of caught up. Hmm. So far not seeing little cactus anywhere. So yeah, I'm hoping maybe light side Durin. I don't remember what he gets normally. Because I think he might get healing, which means I don't technically have to go light side Charlotte if I don't want to. Hmm. So we have to go to the left side of town at some point, because until I think we speak to the mayor, nobody will talk to us. just saw like bright colors over here and I thought I saw the cactus for a moment. The elixir attained. Oh, speaking of cactus. We have acquired quite a few of them. Yeah, I think how I would play it would be, like, basically pure offense. I think I would do, like, Reese, Durin, Kevin, just because they have the highest attack power. I think that would be how I would play the game. But I think for the sake of showing off more characters, I should try new characters. So that would probably be my dream team. I think Reese would have the debuffs, Durin would have the buffs, Kevin would just be raw damage, and I don't need a healer. But if I went light Durin, that would also be fine. I'm also not sure, like, for example, if Duelist is any good. Because it's possible that the class bonuses are actually quite terrible. And one will lean towards the other. Kind of like how, uh, I think Reese's dark side is so much stronger in this one compared to everything else. Just because of the fact that, uh... The debuffs combined with the Night Market, for example, seem to work a lot better, let alone some of her passive skills. So I'm curious when we get to the next rank up how good she'll end up being. 80% chance of magic and decrease with critical hit. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Sadly, I don't really want to touch the characters until we level up again. Because being able to just dump like 14 strength into the final build is huge. To say to humans. Leave immediately. Elder! Please! We need your help! Oh, you are the ones chosen by Fairy herself. Hey! There you are! You went without me! Again! How could you forget about me? You horrible meanie! Charlotte, I is that really you? Who are you? Hmm. You do not remember. You were very young when you were taken to Wendell. <laughs> I should not be surprised. Oh, so you are the Elfin Elder, huh? Wait, no time for that. My grandpa is sick. He needs your help. Please! When the Priest of Light put up a barrier to protect Holy City Wendell, he used forbidden magic that came with a terrible curse. Now he has fallen to an incurable illness. Hmm, I see. I did not think I would ever hear tell of the Priest of Light again. It must be Laron and Shayla's will from the world beyond. Papa and Mama? Yes, my child. Dividing their families caused Laron and Shayla much pain. 
humans and elves are forbidden to marry. His eminence and I were against the union, afraid that it would shorten their lifespans. But their love was more important to them than our laws. Shayla left Dior and eloped with Laron. Once I saw their happiness, I reluctantly relented. After a time, they had you, Charlotte. Though they departed this world thereafter, your parents did not regret their decision. To assuage his guilty conscience for abandoning his son, his eminence swore to raise you, his granddaughter, in Laron's place. That is when you left Dior for the Temple of Light. And to avoid future tragedy, I sealed Dior away from humans. We too agreed that only elves were to know where to find this settlement. Regarding the issue of His Eminence's illness, I'm afraid there is nothing I can do with the manner of the world so depleted. In the end, it sounds like our only hope is to get the Sword of Mana and ask the Goddess of Mana to heal him. Fairy is helping us. We're trying to open the Sanctuary Portal looking for elementals. Where is the wood stone? Do you know? Hmm. There is a mana statue in the northwest of Lamploom Woods. If you borrow Luna's moon powers at night, the Lamplooms should let you through. Go to the mana statue, chat. Hmm. Let's see. Should be good there. Rathal Night Bloom Woods is a vast primeval forest called the Woods of Wandara. Yada yada. <gasps> okay, so I guess we're good to go. Talk to him one more time. Our Luna's power is at night. The lamp bloom should let you through. Hmm. Elves live much longer than humans. In order for Sheila to marry Laron, she had to use secret magic to turn into a human. Fortunately, the magic not only shortens an elf's lifespan, also shortens their chosen partners. It's quite tragic. I like that. Like, you. <laughs> Your parents sacrificed their lives to be with each other, and then the music's like boo 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 boo. boo. <laughs> Just <laughs> what a total clash! <laughs> Missing one treasure chest. Interesting. I was merely praying to the goddess of mana for our continued safe passage. Shall we be off? I think you mean good twimes. Oops, I can't talk to them. I entered that very generously. Welcome, come, take a look. Oh, Chad, look at all these upgrades I'm never gonna get. I was half thinking, like, w should I actually bother getting stamina on Durin? <laughs> That's what I was thinking about during that other cutscene. I'm like, hmm. Maybe he'll be an AI that actually survives. Welcome, come, take a look. Uh These increases are kind of not worth it to me. I think I'm gonna skip it. Let's skip that weapon upgrade and we'll get the next upgrade. Cause five damage for me for five thousand is a completely garbage trade, and I'm not interested in making that trade. 
where we were spending like 2,100 or so, we were getting plus five. Now it's not really worth it to me. So goodbye, Sheila and Laron. I think I have the same complaint in the SNES version, where there are just some weapons where I'm like, no. <laughs> right, chat? Just, I don't think so. Let's skip a tier. We know we have to get very expensive endgame weapons anyway that cost like 30k per. Charlotte, sorry about your parents. Go back to Lamp Bloom Woods and find the mana statue. Northwest, right? Power you. Sorry about that. Stronger than you think. Did he really see us when they were all dead? Oof. AI choices are certainly something. Oh, it's not a golden statue, that's right. This must be the mana statue the Elder mentioned. Hmm. Interesting. I have never seen this plant. Oh, but it smells divine. I believe this is the path you seek. Would it be all right for me to take one of these flowers with me? <sighs> I do so love the smell. Hmm. Oh well, well, let's proceed, I guess. So let's see, chat. What do you think are the odds that before we get to the end, there will be another little cactus? It is unwise to get in a... <laughs> no time for this. Watch out for the enemy. Weaken the enemy. No time. No, thank you, random fights. I am not interested in you. Take that healing, though. Hmm. I could try left here. I leave the rear to you. We cannot delay. Just looking to see if there's any other items. You meant likely? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. So there's a lot of crisscrosses, but there's not really any treasure chests, because I got them all. It's kind of disappointing. Oh, there's a gold statue up here. Okay. You gonna put a little cactus over here? Ah, you are. Cause I'm like, there can't be any more treasure chests, but man, we're doing super well with this, I think. We're almost at the halfway point in the game and I've almost found them all. So I believe the upcoming boss is the Tropicolo. I don't remember what its elemental weakness is, if any. I guess that's a downside. Maybe I should research what they're weak to when we go to play Angelo. That will help us choose what elemental buffs to use. So I imagine it would probably take fire damage. Since it is a giant plant, from what I recall. Hmm. Let's get rid of water and earth. Okay, so there is something that it decreases magic attack and defense with random eyes. That's interesting. So there are debuff items, but there are random drops. It's a bit unfortunate, actually. Uh, I think we could buy the chips if we go to play Zangel the next time. Where's the fire damage? There we go. 
Is Cookie for like a limited time or how does that work? Because it says temporarily, so I'm like, do I have to use it late in the fight? Guess we'll find out. So we're definitely gonna buff attack first. I like how I dodge while using items, but our allies did not dodge. I think that sums it up right there, chat. I was literally locked into not being able to dodge, and I still dodged and they couldn't. Or, well, maybe you should worry. But this is a monster. It's a lot bigger than typical monsters, though. Defeat it first, and we can figure out what's wrong later. <laughs> <laughs> Allies, please. Should work. I know you. <laughs> please go heal yourself. Or not. You can just choose not to heal yourself, I guess. Chat, I know for a fact I have enabled item usage on them. Why are they not healing themselves? I have so many questions. Let's use your candy here, and then have you... Can you please stop taking damage? Chat, this is so sad. Why am I ha Why do I have to babysit them so hard? I can you just cast a single spell to help me, please? And stop taking damage. Thank you. I mean, it would have been nice if you were able to debuff before I lost my buffs. Please heal yourself. I'm getting very frustrated, chat. This is the stuff I don't look forward to. I'm super tired of them not helping. Can you just, like, debuff them so you stop dying or something? Like, just do, like, literally anything? Okay, big damage to the head. Oh gosh, it was making me target weird. Careful! Exploding seeds! Beat it fast! Don't want to- Why is he running into the corner? Come on. Give me a break on this one, chat. Like, what was that? Okay, I'm doing some damage to them at least. Can you lower his defense? Oh, I'm gonna get hit here. That is really unfortunate. Okay, now defense down is making a big difference. Strength up her. Okay, 
think that got us. Oh, it didn't quite get us done. That's unfortunate. Let's use a chocolate on him. Let's go ahead and use a cookie. Oh. Oh, I have to use it before combat? Oh, I didn't know. My bad, chat. Now I know, I guess. I almost very rarely look at the item wheel. Oh well. We'll know for next time. Please dodge attacks. Please dodge attacks. Dodge. Could you defense down him again? Oh, stunned him. I missed his head a little bit, but that's fine. We could do some big damage here. gonna die from this damage okay so not thrilled with their allies there but i think that otherwise i did mostly fine in the boss battle so yeah now we know cookie cookie has to be used before combat that's fair so we have four xp up items we have at least 14 bosses left so i'm okay with this to pure mana power, right? But plus, you were trapped for a long time. Still look very healthy, right? Are you certain? Wiggle, wiggle, Chan. Yes! Come with us, Dryad! We need you. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. It, but I will do my best to help you all. Ten powers from what elemental dryad? <laughs> all eight elementals. Let's hurry and call for Busca so that we can get a right to Oblivion. We don't have much time left. This is probably our last chance. What Oblivion? We were there already, Kevin. Is the island, where mana energy from all corners of the world converges. In the past, when the magic used to control the mana stones was sealed away, the whereabouts of Oblivion were erased from everyone's memories to further protect the world. Oh, but don't worry, it's still there. When I used the last of the mana power in the sanctuary to get to this world, I appeared in the sky above that island. Let's go! <laughs> 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 
Leaf Saber, Wall, Poison Bubble. Again, stuff that'll be interesting in the future. Yeah, potentially if we did like Hawk, for example, as a third party member over Charlotte, we could try a ninja version of him. Right now, I'm kind of happy with him potentially using less items. It seems to be working for the most part. Okay, leave it to me. How close are we leveling again? 4,000. So now I feel like I'm within the if I do five fights, I level. But what we're going to do, we are going to save for now. Take a break here. So this is now a little past midnight for me now. So let's go ahead and chat. How do we feel about the game so far? Well, I think for the most part it was better this session, but we saw the absolute catastrophic failure of AI with the robot fight. So I'm glad we didn't do that one first because I got an extra level up on the ninjas. Like, because the other ninjas were so occupied fighting, fighting me, I actually managed to keep our allies alive <laughs> because I'm actually able to dodge and they aren't. So I can still see that kind of swinging either way. But yeah, there are some major, major problems with the AI. I mean, we saw literally Hulk run into the corner over and over, even though it was still within range of the AOE attack and just take damage. Reese exploded. Reese just outright exploded. And she's also not very aggressive with her debuffs. Right, Chad? Like, we're in a boss battle and she's not debuffing the boss. Like, that's now three different times across five bosses. I had to tell her to do her job. So, Hawkeye channeling Miklio? Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, they seem, like, really confused as to how to do abilities. I've seen, for example, Hawkeye sometimes use spikes or arrow trap in battles. But the debuff AI on Reese is just absolutely horrendous. It might as well as be non-existent, to be honest with you. So having to manually control her is not great. I, I do think when we defense down, it does save us a lot of time, since the boss typically seems to have more defense than we do strength. And it seems to be more impactful than strength up, for example. So I definitely think debuffs were the right way to go with this game. And if we play another set of characters, I would probably need a character that debuffs. Because I, I think pure buffs are not the way to go in this game based off of the difference in the percentage. Like, I want to say like we're doing like maybe. I don't know, maybe like another 10 to 15 percent more when we strength up. But when we debuff, we're doing like almost double damage. It's kind of ridiculous how much better it is with the debuffs. So obviously strength up is more generically useful for random fights, but most of the time I don't really think we need that kind of advantage in those kind of fights. So I'm o I would rather us be a more boss focused build. So we'll take another look going through this. With Reese's debuffs, it doesn't make sense to have a ninja, but if we brought in Hawk, for example, back over Charlotte, he would be able to do ninjutsus maybe for debuffs. And then Durin would have healing, and then Angelo would just do damage. But again, we'll we'll talk about it when we get there. I could try the light path, but not go light light, because I, I think that would probably be a waste of time. Maybe light dark with Charlotte. So that way she's got a little bit of damage with her. I don't really want her to be pure healing or else fights are going to take forever. And honestly going dark dark but instead of necromancer going warlock or whatever it was called I think would maybe also be okay. Since being able to get a massive stat down for late game could be interesting. Yeah I don't think pure healing is worth it because they're just gonna she's just gonna burn all of her MP and then be useless. So I'd rather her either get a little bit of attack or put something on the boss so that when she inevitably dies, I can kind of finish off the boss. So that's what I'm thinking about as we're playing through those boss fights. But anyway, chat, that's for a future discussion. Hopefully the, the next rank up of classes is good. We're hitting uh, level 31 already, which is pretty high, I think, compared to before. I think previously, because we're eventually going to fight a set of eight bosses, I think by the time we fought like the 
Like, literally by the time we finished the 8th boss, I still wasn't 38. So think about it this way, it definitely seems to be semi-fixed with XP, with how much XP the bosses give now. So, very likely before I get to the final set of 8, before we go into the story bosses, I will have class changed. So I will actually get to benefit from the class update, which was a big drawback of the SNES, where even though we literally hit 38 on the final boss we didn't we need to hit 39 40 41 for abilities to unlock so it looks like that will not happen in this playthrough which has me feeling a little better about the game but yeah we'll we'll see where we go keep in mind we still have to find potentially those mystery seeds and i'm not sure how they fix them if they change them at all since i was not a fan of randomly fighting until you get them but we'll see chat maybe maybe they thought about it and put them in treasure chests and we'll find them just by walking around. That would be very nice. But anyway, fingers crossed. No idea if it'll happen or not. But I think that's all I have to say in regards to Trials of Mana. So we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.